I'm uh, not starts that when he's actually the starts. At, at the beginning and the end. At the beginning and the end. I hope you understand that I listen to a lot of trap music. Hmm. Get up trap music. Get up music. Can you hear good with those? Yeah. Uh. Shit's gonna die. Where's your Red Bull at? You yeah. hammered already? I already hammered the Red Bull. Can't even just sip on it? Do you want another one? No, I'm good. Need it when people keep you up all damn night. How about some Tyler salts? salts? Was yep. That, was that Tyler? Did yeah. Oh, it's more Never rooming salts. next to Tyler again. What did I do? No common courtesy for anybody sleeping, just roaming around, just slamming doors. It was one o'clock in the morning. You're supposed to be Turning on fans. Out. Oh, you mean when we came in from hunting? Turn on the yeah. fan. And then wakes up in the morning. Hey, Rich, how you doing? You know, just talking. I'm like, shut the fuck up. It was like nine o'clock. It was nine o'clock, yeah. That's because I didn't sleep. Bringing a camper next Pop year. Pop Pop's upset. He didn't Do you have a camper? He didn't get his sleep. Rental, baby. <laughs> we'll rent one. <clears throat> oh. You sleep up here. What do you need, dude? I, I would. Looking, I, I would be nice as to what the... Oh, it looks, looks... We're good. Okay. All right, so we'll do like a... I don't even have anything written down for this. But... Better um, that way. Way better. <laughs> I'll do like a little intro and you can do you can do however you want with that you can move that up you can move it down you can leave it how it is Don't no matter. it's perfect because it's blocking your face I can just see your eye <laughs> <laughs> we're good we're good we're good we're good <laughs> I have a feeling I might fucking spit some coffee out of this <laughs> I'm gonna drink my inside of Okay, oh, let's do this and this. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of. I wish you guys could see these motherfuckers just flexing over here. <laughs> just take a picture. Put it... <laughs> take a picture. He's very, he's very vascular. He's very vascular. John and Keith like to flex their boobs, man. It was... You, have, you haven't seen me do that once, have you? No, nah, you've been dude, chill. I'm just you've like, been chill. Fuck, dude, I'm just fuck, not trying to. So when people shake their legs, I like to shake my boobs. Thanks for that, John. Yeah, yeah John. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. TMI. <laughs> we need to do the Amazon affiliate thing again and actually do it. What are you doing, dude? I'm just checking this out real quick. He's just starstruck right now. He's got TK here. TK's in the house. Can you see that? That's the lover, lover. That looks good, dude. Dude, where's your wig? That was good. It's in the truck. I felt it almost. It's not coming Can't out. Can't believe I don't have it on. It is. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> if we do some day hunts, I'll wear that snow. We will. <laughs> after we get crazy, after, well, you guys can on the bike tomorrow, but okay. It, it'll look like a dead rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Have to have the shotgun for that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do this. What's up, guys? You're here with O'Neill Ops, and this is the Predator Hunter Podcast. This is the place where we break it down, where we go into detail with the equipment that we use and how we use that equipment application specific. Today, it's self-explanatory. We got the fellas from Texas up here, and we have Anthony Amatine in-house as a guest, and this is going to be entertainment. <laughs> This will be pretty fun, I think. We're just going to, we're, we're kind of just chilling, waiting for 
the kill box to get going hot. Last night there was quite a few smoking it, and we're going to take him and Rich down there for their first experience with it. And Not Rich's. At, down there at AS. Oh, really? Yeah. I just asked him today. Nice. Yeah. Tyler's been down there once before, mm-hmm. so we're going to hammer that out. Anyway, <clears throat> let's just get right into it, man. I think that everybody that follows us, know they know who you are because we go back and forth quite back a bit. Back and forth. So let's just go like this. Hackling each other. Uh, introduce yourself. Tell us how, you know, where you're from, what you do. Maybe we'll, we'll just go a whole different, a bunch of different routes, dude. How you got into it, kind of what set you off. Just introduce yourself. My name is Anthony Amatine, and um, from North Texas, and uh, I've been I've been hunting now for or the predator and hog thing. I've been doing it for close to twenty years now, and it didn't start out like this, but I, that's how long I've been doing it. And um, believe it or not, watching you guys is what inspired me to take things up to the next level. And uh, I just never been able to stop. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so you, you're a, you, what did you do before you got into, what was your gig before you got into kind of the trigger pull inside of things? What did you do? As far as uh, employment? Yeah. Uh, I was, I, I worked on a horse ranch. So, I, you know, everybody knows I went to TCU. I ran track there. And um, when I left TCU, I went straight into um ranch working and my really good friend runs a pretty big ranch in north texas so i worked on the ranch i lived on the ranch and that's when i got my first experience with the wildlife you know the the pig stuff the coyote stuff the pros and the cons you know deer all that kind of stuff i learned everything on this ranch and uh there's no hunting on this ranch no big game hunting on this ranch but the problem needed to be taken care of. So I was like, damn, I live here. I work here. Like, why not take advantage of this opportunity? You know? So I was out there with a $300, 270, you know, she slaying pigs and coyotes during daytime, you know, not taking, not taking it too serious, but that's where it kind of really originated, you know? And, uh, I was, after that, I got into, uh, Peterbilt. I was building 18 wheelers. So you left the ranch work mm-hmm. and, and went, okay. And, and went to manufacturing um, Peterbilt's and it's in Denton, Texas. The plant is, but it's the only plant in the world. And that's where I worked. And I worked there for almost 14 years. And I did, you pretty much build a truck from scratch from the beginning yep. to the end. That's what I did forever. But I did that on multiple different shifts, first, second, third weekend. So I did every shift and always found a way to be able to hunt always that's what that's what helped me get through the whole hunting thing was that that supported the beast yep. you know yeah funded it a little bit yeah and yeah. you were so what were you exactly you were manufacturing or were you in a specific department where you did I, I was pretty much all over you know you you bounce from you know you you work for six months in a department get bored you bid you bid to another department okay. and then bid 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 some people stay in it forever but yep. In a certain apartment, but I worked from the frame line all the way to paint, engine set, cab set. Like, I worked pretty much everywhere in there. Okay, that's in. I, I we knew that you did. Like, we would talk back and forth, and Keith was like, "Dude, I'm pretty sure he works on semis." And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, "That's that's interesting." And then after that, you got kind of affiliated with Tyler. Yeah, well, while, while, while I was working there, I, I linked up with Tyler. Like, um. I had a, a CNVDT clip-on thermal that I was hunting with at that time. Hella expensive unit, but I was hunting with that. But I, I, I was watching these videos. This guy, Bear Claw, on uh, <laughs> the Texas hunting forum, Bear Claw. And uh, I was watching his videos, and I'm like, how in the fuck are these guys record? Can I curse? Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There you go. Um, there you go. Uh, I was watching the field. Sonar. It's got sonar underneath the DV. It will do like a two dimension. Those things suck. Yeah, yeah. But as at that time, that's what we had. At that time, that's what we had, you know? Up until like two years, three years ago, we've never shot yeah. a thermal like it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah. Never looked down through Back you know, then, we're, we're you fucking, were shooting with yeah, a, a DVR. You, you know, you know yeah. yeah. Back then, they didn't suck. Yeah, yeah, back then, they didn't. There you go. <laughs> so um, I reached out to Tyler and uh, I said, hey, um, how can we make this happen? He was like, we'll just build a cord. And so. I went to his office 
and we sat down with Matt, and he got that cord for me. And I'm like, hey, if you ever want to hunt, get content, whatever, I got a place that's just pretty much guaranteed pigs all the time at this time. Now, yeah. now it's not the same. We, we heard them pretty bad. But back then, we can go down there and see 20, 30 pigs a night, no problem. But anyways, we linked up, and next thing you know, we just – a friendship developed, and we, we never stopped. Um, how long ago was – I mean, how long have you known Tyler? I honestly couldn't – 2014 something like that 2014 2015 and uh anyways long story short guys um rona hit okay and things was getting really crappy where i was originally working and i'm talking like nazi style at the peterbilt yes like people were walking around with six foot poles like holy don't get near this person like you're Dude, sometimes you're working so close, you're sweating yeah. on the next man. Yeah. You know, it's just yep. what it is, you know, yep. grunt work, you know. Yep. And you're you're totally breaking that camaraderie up and that yep. and that that you know, that work environment was getting ruined and it was getting really toxic. And UNV was growing really fast too at the same time. And Tyler needed help. You know, yep. things were growing and and uh he 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 offered me an opportunity pretty much of a lifetime, you know, and I was just like as soon as he said it, he can tell you, I was just like, just give me the night to think about it. But I knew it was a no brainer. Sign yeah. me up. Yeah. yeah. And I walked out after all those, you know, usually you put a two weeks notice in. So yeah. you give yourself yeah. an opportunity to go back. And I told him, I was like, I don't want an opportunity to come back. I'm done. So in that instance, were you possibly setting yourself up for like a, like a retirement from working at Peter, did they yeah, have, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, if I would have put in, unfortunately, it's a long, but if I would have put in another 15 years, oh, I would have been. Okay, yeah, that, that been, much time. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, we're talking 30 years, okay. you know. And now, in our times, a retirement is pretty rare, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like if you're in your 20s, you probably won't be able to retire. I just, it's yeah. just the way it is, you know. Yep. Not many yep. jobs are going to be able to give you that. Exactly. So, you hammered out, got done, it left your gig at Peterbilt. Mm -hmm. And from then, fucking just turned into a monster. Um, just started hammering. Tyler, you got in with Tyler. Yeah. Where that was right up your alley because you were. Dude. It, you were killing anyways. Yeah, I was killing anyways, but I was on a schedule. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you were yep. killing on somebody else's time. For yeah. Yep. So, yep. like, you know, I, I clock in, clock out, you know, yep. the whole eight-hour thing. And then there was a small window for family time, wait yep. for family to go to bed. Yep. And then I go hammer some pigs and yep. coyotes and then come home with very little sleep and it just fucking sucked, oh, you yep, know. Yeah. So yep. now I am on a on a schedule, but guess what? It's not frowned upon. Yeah. Like it's almost encouraged for us to go hunt. Sure, like we need to hunt. Oh yep. fuck yeah! You know? So what do you consist of regarding working with Tyler? What what is what's part of your job description for that? Um, or do you, production I mean, production okay. QC okay production and QC and you get you get to have the opportunity of going out. You have ton of followers on on uh instagram a few, a few. and you're at up over what 60 70 000 on youtube Six, over sixty thousand on youtube that's freaking solid dude because you haven't been doing youtube I don't very long do, i don't i don't i don't do enough of it yeah that's the problem yeah. I, I think it could be stronger but way better dude way yeah, stronger way yeah, bigger yeah like, it could be bigger but i'm i'm if I put the energy that I'm putting in on IG over to YouTube, yep. it'd be better. But YouTube, uh, IG is where it started for me, and it's just yeah. it's natural. So that's know? what your mindset is. Yeah, Th that's why you're trying. More, you're more on. It's not because you think in, I, Instagram's easier. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is easier. So, um, you know, I, when we did our live feed or whatever, and I was talking yep. about looking back at these old videos, you know, like I critique myself bad. You know, like do you watch your old shit? I I yep. can't. That's I how can't, I am. I can't. I, yeah, I hate way. listening to myself. I hate yep. looking. Yep. And it was like, oh man, I could have said that better. Or yeah, I could. I'm, I'm the same way. Even like just a story. I'll watch mm -hmm. a story three times and be like, wow, I sound like a retard. Yeah, Delete it. yeah. But it, but you know, you look at the comments, man, and so many people love it. Yeah. And they support you, and they yeah. they want more of it. And I'm reading it, and I see it, and I just need to push myself a little bit harder with YouTube. I need to because yeah. it's there, and I'm not getting hammered on YouTube like I am on IG. I, I'm shocked my IG count's still around. But sometimes I wish something would happen on IG so it can push me harder over on YouTube. Right. What's your what what's happened on Instagram? What's going on that's that's really like what's the main like you're not purposely going out of your way to try to piss people no, off. What's no. what's happening? So censorship, we all know this, you know. Um 
you guys don't spend too much time on IG. You know, I know where your bread and butter is, but you guys aren't on a daily basis posting like we, like me and some others do. You know, right. that's but, by the way we don't have as many followers though. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're no, you're getting you're getting. Are you doing a live session? Are you making a point to almost do a live session on yes. Instagram every day? I no, not every day, but I try to do it at least once or twice a week. And what's your technique there for? What's your mindset? Just automatically, I know you're engaging the mm -hmm. guys that follow you. Yeah. But what do you have? Do you throughout your day are you like you know what man? We should just. I should just have an IG live and go over this mm -hmm. or talk about this. Or do you just, do you just have random subjects that pop up or you have a, somebody comments on your live and you yeah. start going into detail on it or how do you go about that? So random subjects, current events I like to talk about. Um, and not even necessarily hunting, mm, just yeah, current shit. Yeah, current shit. Um, I, I, I love the engagement, um, you know, it's something we shouldn't ignore it, but there's a lot of people that live vicariously through us, man. And they don't get the opportunity to go yeah, out and hunt and shoot as much as yep, we do. Yep. And it's good to engage with these people because these are the people that, that are supporting you. Yep, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So when you, when you do these live feeds, it's good to engage with those folks and answer questions and talk to them, you know, because I can't do that in the DMS. I feel so bad. Yep. Uh, I get, I get called out. I get called all kinds of names because I'm not, I'm ignoring them or I'm a smart ass in the com in, in, in DMs, but I can't sit there and go through all these damn DMs answering the same damn questions over damn and day. over. Yeah. yeah. It's easier for me just to go live and like, hey, yep. you, if it's that serious, this is your opportunity to ask yep. a question. I can just answer it out of my mouth, you know? Yep. But um, that's what I like to go live for. It's 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 there's a lot of information that gets dumped on those live feeds that I wish I was doing on YouTube. To be honest it's, with you, yeah, because that it's a waste what, what, of information. Yeah, what do you do with that live feed once it's yeah, gone? It's, it's gone. gone. You yeah. don't archive it anywhere. Yeah, it's no, not, it's gone. Yeah, that, it's I gone. I see your point. What you're saying, like the guys that the guys that um, do get upset, you only have so much time in the day to even remotely think about replying to some questions that you yeah. get. And you bad sure. blustery man now, do it, man. like hey. yeah like today these it's obvious i work for unv i'm a unv employee it's obvious i'm in the night vision and thermal industry but i'm also not customer service i'm also not a sales <laughs> yeah. guy and these people have a hard time understanding that and when i don't answer their questions or i don't give them the information they, they get i'm an asshole yep. yeah oh he's got a big head oh he he's got fifty thousand followers he thinks he's the shit that's not what it is. That's not my fucking job. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So these guys have a hard time understanding that. And with these live feeds, if you just ask a question, I'll be able to, I'll do my best to answer it. People know that, you yep. know? Yeah. And if you want to be a fucking prick, be a prick. I'm just going to ignore you or block yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what happens. That's just, it. um, before, before we get into anything regarding getting too far down about hunting to, uh, we had our race yesterday. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, and, but you, okay, so just from, from the standpoint of the, when, when I, I don't remember the first time I, I kind of noticed some of your stuff in the way that I thought maybe, I've automatically thought probably like some ex-military. You know, you could tell you're athletic. You, you did, you said you ran track at college. Yeah, yeah. What did you do? What uh, I, were was, your, I, was a, I was a sprinter in college. So I was a, I was a sprinter in high school, and uh, my wife is calling. Um, you can, if you want to no, no, answer. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Um, so um, when I was in high school, it was football and track, and um, it, it was obvious things were stronger for me on the track, which was at this time abnormal to see somebody my size as a sprinter. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when, I won, when I won state, and we won state as a team, I knew that I could go a lot further with the sport. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So yep. Um, I, I ended up just choosing to go track and field when I went to college. And I was like, you know what, maybe I can do track and field and then walk on a football team or something, you know, and get yep. on, you know. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way because uh, we, we can get into that later. But um, <laughs> it is a fucking business. But anyways, uh yeah, I ran track, man, and I absolutely loved it. But unfortunately, it got worse as 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 my college career got bigger and bigger. It got worse, and I'd be a hundred percent honest with you. If I can go back and do it all over again, I probably would have got into hunting instead of fucking track yep. and field. Yeah. I'll be honest yep. with you. So, at that time, that early on in your life, 
high school, college, did you have any kind of affiliation with hunting at all? What none whatsoever. Firearms or anything? None whatsoever. Brother, I grew up in Houston. Um, it, you know, if anybody knows anything about Houston, man, it can get crazy. But that's that's what I know is Houston. You know what I'm saying? In Houston and guns means violence, yeah. and that's that's what it was always presented to me as a youth. Is when we had a gun or a gun around, it was for bad things. It wasn't for hunting. It wasn't for recreational sporting or nothing like that. And so I've always looked at firearms that way until I went to JUCO in Kansas. And when I went to JUCO in Kansas, I was exposed to a totally different world with firearms and hunting. And immediately it, it turned my life around immediately. And I was just like, I don't ever want to go back to the city again. Like I couldn't believe the, the one, the camaraderie, the good life, you know, clean life, legal life, good people. I mean, I didn't, I've, I have yet to have one bad experience out in the fucking woods with firearms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yep. it's like, it was a, it was a true fucking blessing, man, but I never knew how to pursue it. Yeah. I never Ex knew. I didn't have mentors yep. or friends or a dad that hunted yep. or an uncle or nobody. I, yep. Like, how am I going to do this? Yeah. You know, I grew up in Houston. I run track. Where, like, how am I yeah. going to do this? Yeah. You know, I was, I was, I remember my first time buying a gun. I was so damn scared. Cause I was worried they're going to tell me, no, you can't buy it. That, that's what I was worried about was a yeah. no. Yeah. I didn't know legally I could purchase a firearm, you know? And I had to figure all this shit out on my own. Everything, everything from, from, from purchasing to shooting to hunting. I learned on my fucking own. But that's where that makes it in my opinion, so much more advantageous to you because when you have to figure shit out yourself, it's it's a learned experience that you appreciate way more in the long run than if somebody just automatically fucking opened the door yeah, up for you. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. always nice to have somebody open the door yeah. up for you, but to have to go through all that, it just makes it to me in certain instances, which I'm not, it just seems like it makes it a lot more valuable. Yeah, I, know? I, 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 I cherish it. And like yeah. when people would sit there and they call me an idiot and why are you out there killing animals and, you know, you're you're just out there killing. They don't like it. I I get really angry because they don't know what the hell they're talking about, and they don't know what it took to get where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm some big famous movie star. You know, I'm not saying that, but right. just to get where I'm at right now was a straight fucking grind. Well, man. shit. Look at some of the guys that are making contact with you because of your social media presence to go hunting yeah, with. Yeah. Like, so who are some of the people that have who who. Are, who are some of the guys that have made contact with you that got a hold of you that are pretty freaking well known people? Uh, Mike Grantham, you know, like yeah, I, you know, there's uh, and there's the, guys that are even bigger than that. The, the one of the dude perfect guys, yeah, saw your dude shit? perfect, yeah, dude perfect. We picked them up. Um, God, where's Rich? At? What's his name? Tyler Tony. I'm sorry, it was yeah, a brain yeah. part, but Tyler those guys Tony. are seeing your shit. Yeah, and, and they're right down the road from me. I was gonna me. say yeah. they're right there. Yeah, down they're right where you're down at. the road. So I was like, Tyler, you want to go hunting? He's like, Yeah. So his shit's still in my truck right now out there. You know, he's got to pick it up. But um, went down the road and picked up. Then just a, I have to just be a hundred percent. He's a beautiful person. That's all I got to say. Like what you see is what you get. He's yeah. just a hundred percent genuine, good Christian guy, clean, like good people, and that's the kind of people you want around you. Oh you know? yeah. And it's yeah. just, it's unbelievable the amount of people that I'm able to network through, through social media. It's yeah. insane. People don't even know it. And I don't go out and say, hey, I want to hook up with you or right, have lunch right. or, or come hunt with it's, me. I don't say nothing these, to yeah. them. people are reaching out to you. Yeah, I don't yeah. reach out yeah. to them. They're reaching out to me. I mean, that tells me. you something right there, too. It's pretty know? cool. Yeah. It's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's what we were kind of talking. Well, we were, when Tyler was downstairs the other day, and like I'm, I almost kind of disconnect myself from my phone because of, there's just, you can get sidetracked so easy, but like you said, you got to have it Yeah. Well, for what you do. You yeah, have to have it and have show it. guys almost all the time to, to, it, it's just, it goes with the business of what you do now. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of folks don't see it, man. They just, they immediately think, oh, this guy's dropping 50 grand on this, you know, yeah. and he's just splurging and flexing yeah. and <laughs> they don't understand. They don't, some folks don't get it, man, but I'm, I'm networking with a lot of fucking people and yeah. they're good people and they're, they believe in what I do and they support what I do. Sure. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. And then he goes, this, this guy, he, 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 he wasn't, yeah, he, yeah. Some, he didn't give two shits. I mean, pretty Big much, companies. yeah, you could probably, 
you could probably get a hold of a lot of different guys and they would be very interested in working with oh, you in yeah. one way, shape, or form. Yeah, hey, dude, we've yeah. seen your shit. We know what you do. Let mm-hmm. us get you this out and test it out and see what you yeah. think. No strings attached. That's how it is, man. And they just they just want me to keep it real. They're like, you're doing exactly, you know, like, yeah. I'm not acting. Sure. I'm not sitting here telling you you have to go buy it. I'm not, I'm you're not, not trying to influence you. Exactly. You're not yeah. bought and paid for no. by a company that's like, hey, Push our shit because we're paying you yeah, to do it. Yeah, no, not not one person in the industry can say that I cut a check for Amantine to say this. The, not one. And, and see, that's where we're on the same page. Like, I mean, we work with people where we can actually yeah. generate some yes. some money from it, but we are not entitled to have to promote mm-hmm. one certain company. Mm-hmm. There's certain shit that we run because it. For us, it works better than other yeah, stuff, yeah. but we just get to use shit, hammer with it, mm-hmm. and decide whether or not we like well, it or not. I like yeah. it or not. Exactly. And there's been companies, man, where I've I've worked with them, and they wanted a contract. Hey. Yeah. Well, they see know, the value in you then. They're like, yeah. dude, we'll sign your ass up. Yeah. So yeah. We'll sign Lock you up. You and I look at it, and I'm like, ain't going to happen. And it's pretty good money. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I ain't going to do it because I need to be able to run these other fucking rifles. Exactly. I need to be able to do what I want to do. And not be locked into a fucking contract. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. Exactly. That that puts a lot of uh, uh, I would say credibility to you because we've pretty much done the same thing. Information, man, in this, and you know, just by people asking you questions all mm-hmm. the time, information based on experience is worth its weight in gold. Yes, sir. And you don't get experience with shit if somebody gives you one thing to run and that's mm-hmm. all you run. That's yeah. all you run. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't pick, no. But for like you and your situation, man, I can't even imagine how how hard it would be to not have some kind of a venue to get into the hunting side of things. Fuck, that would be tough. I mean, you look at, come out here and look at, where we are yeah, that's all yeah. there is yeah yeah that's that's, that's it dude yeah so i mean if if we can do certain things and make it cool it's easy it's easy but in a in a city or coming from a city that's which i would have no idea mm-hmm. is even like to get into the game is interesting story in itself dude it's is not easy man and i i don't talk about it much man but it ain't be it ain't it I, i'm I'm a person of color. I'm black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. I came from the city. I got in the game that's predominantly yeah. white. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, you know, I'm the black sheep, literally. You know? And I had to figure it out. Yep. I've had friends that I had to cut ties with because... They didn't like how you did it. They didn't like how I did. Like they didn't. Or they didn't, didn't like what you were doing at all. They didn't respect the grind. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't respect the grind. Like man, why are you do putting some, so much time? Yeah. Why are you putting so much effort in this, man? Like this yeah. is stupid. Like, won't you do this? Like, always negative. And I'm like, I don't think I should be around you anymore. I don't think you understand what I'm trying to do here. And those guys are still in the same fucking rut they've been in for yeah. the last yeah. 10, 15 yeah. years. That's freaking cooler than shit to hear, but it also sucks to hear. Yeah. That, you know, that you have to have guys that don't influence you in a positive way. Yeah. But yeah. but for you to be able just or to fucking just cut the support. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, the support. support. You're my the friend, support. Dude. That, I mean, I that guy know. right there, Tyler, if it wasn't for fucking Tyler, you don't understand, man. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times he's rooted for me like, hey, these fucking photos are badass. You need to do this shot yeah. just like this. Like yeah. you're yeah. slightly out. Like you got to do this. You know, like always pushing me. Yeah. You know how yep. hard it is to have somebody behind you, you like that yeah. all the time. Yeah, dude. No, because the other guy that's doing the same fucking thing you do want to be better than you. Yeah. They always want to want. They always want to be one step in front of you, man. And that's sometimes it's just not like that. Sometimes you got to have the right people behind you, man. Yeah. Yep. That shit's rare. And you, you, if you pursue the right path, man, I was listening to a guy like you, you can't overdo it. You just, you follow the path and, and, and you'll be guided there eventually. You know, you'll, you'll, if, if you do the right things, you're going to eventually reach your goals. And I think that's, you know, you, you knew what you wanted to do. Yeah. You pursued it in the right yeah. way and yeah. good things. You hooked up with the right people. The right people. It's not just stars lining up. Yeah. No. You, there's, there's a sense of, I mean, Shit happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. It happens for a reason. And you hear it all the time. People say, if you, if you really want it and you, and you put everything you got into it, it's going to happen. Yeah. But it ain't going to happen half-assed and it ain't going to happen with negative people around you. It's, not, it, it's, it's, a, it's a full commitment, man. 
Yeah. You can ask my wife. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. it's a full commitment. And it's not going to happen right away. No. Oh my God. But look, you're look how long this has been going on. Yeah, and you're but you're <laughs> you're moving along relatively freaking quick, dude. Yeah, for for cool. considering, you've been hammering, you've been hammering, like like from the time you went out and really got shit figured out at night hunting. Which I mean, granted, we're still figuring shit out, and we've been doing it we for a fucking are. exactly, we and it'll be are. that way forever. Yes, if you, we all are. But from the time you got your your structure down, you're like, all right, man, I I I can do this shit. Mm-hmm. I can figure it out. What? How long has it been? How long have you been doing it? T- 10, 10 years? At Fifteen nine? years? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about, just about eleven it? years? About 10, 11 years. So, so that from dude, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, if you 10, think, 11, I want to be honest with you, man. My 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 youngest, my my fourteen year old. Brother, this has been going on for like 12, 13 years. Yeah, 12, yeah. 13 years but at that's, night. That's still, I mean, you have over 50,000 followers on Instagram, mm-hmm. yeah. and you have over that on YouTube mm-hmm. with minimal content being pushed onto your YouTube it's channel. It's insane. It's ridiculous. I need you, to push it more. And it's, I mean, that's that's good numbers. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah, but... 15 years ago when it did start at night, how did that start? Did you start out with thermals or did you start yeah, out with flashlights? I, I, no, I, um, well, at first we started out with lights, like the whole green light thing. Yep. And that I think, was, I a, think everybody started. That was a them, straight cluster <laughs> fuck. Don't get me wrong. We were, we were tearing them up because the, the opportunity was there. We're not coyotes, just pigs, you know? Uh, I remember run dual, dual uh, surefires on my AR, you know, <laughs> uh, just for the lighting. But we got into the green light thing and it got really bad. And then I had a buddy of mine that was uh, an ex serviceman and he had a pretty cool collection and he had thermal, but he didn't have pigs. And I was like, dude, we can, we can wreck shot with this shit, you know? And we went out and sure enough we did. And I was hooked and I knew that I couldn't stop. And then, like I said, time goes by. I hooked up with Tyler. Yep. We had a connection, you know, friendship, business, you know, and it just, boop, like, just blew up, yep. you know. Once you started working for Tyler, did your night game, like, did you step it up? Did you hunt more, per se, than when you were building the um, You know what I mean? I'll be honest with you. I think it slowed down. Okay. Because... My little honey hole was really close to, you know, it's close to the house. Yeah. The honey hole dried up. And when that dried up, it slowed down. I but, never would have guessed that. Yeah. It, <laughs> I'd have guessed it, that it doubled, it tripled. N- no, it slowed down. And it forced me to, to look more for pigs. I had to travel more and try to link up with other people for more kills. And that caused it to slow down. Yeah. It, it really, I just, it was a lot more, more time on the road. How many nights a week were you saying? Dude, I was, it was like almost every night, Yeah, at, at least every other night, every week, all year long, yeah. I was out hunting and thank God my wife is so, she's so supportive. She understands it. You know, she goes out with me when she can, you know, but she knows I'm not stopping, yeah. you know? So yeah. it was cool. I was able to keep up with that. But like I said, when the, when the honey holes dried up, I, I had to slow down and kind of manage my time yeah. because you know, you still got to spend money on fuel, you sure. know, and yeah. it's just, it's just all that stuff starts to add up. You need to slow down. But now I try to make an effort into going places where it is hot, get the kills, get the content, go on. Yeah. You know? Be more efficient. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. So you were, when you got into hunting with thermal, you were strictly going after pigs. Strictly going after pigs. I did call coyotes. I was calling a lot more coyotes then. Um, during the day, and then I started realizing, man, I'm, you know, and the picture game was really good then. Back then, we'd take pictures. Pictures meant everything on the yeah. forums and, and, and Instagram. And so I'll get these kills, and I'll share the story. I'll be able to type it out in the description and tell you the story of the hunt, you know? And then I was like, man, where, For, that, where, where were you doing that at? At the little honey hole by my house. No, I mean, where were Instagram. you? Pro- uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, good. Instagram. Okay. Yeah, Instagram. At first, it was on the Texas hunting forum. It was a forum yeah. that I was on religiously. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. yeah, I was a moderator on there for a few years. Okay. Yeah, I was a moderator on there for a few years. And so I would go on there and we'll just share our stories. And then my buddy Cable, who runs Lone Star Outdoor Show, he was the one that inspired me to get on IG. And then when I got on IG, I was able to share the picture part of my game. Like, 
we all have our style. This is something yeah, that people yeah. don't understand with photos. I'm not saying my photos are badass, but it's my style. This is like my thing. You guys take photos. You can obviously tell it's an O'Neill shot. You know, ops. You know, it's yeah. it's a shot that you guys have. It's a signature look. And I was able to share that. Nine G was really good about photos, and I was like, man, this is so badass. I can share my photos here to the world. You know, and um, you get these kills, but no footage. Yeah. And I'm like, man, that was a badass hunt. And it's all yeah. typed out in the story. Yeah. Like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> and, you know, I was just like, I don't want to do this no more. And then you start getting into the recording part of yeah. Thermal. And yeah. I was like, oh, shit. You know, like, I don't even want to take photos no more. You know, <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you. And um, I would never use it to record. You can ask Tyler. He used to jump my ass. Because you'd forget to hit record. I would never record. Fuck that, man. That's fucking up my hunt, man. I don't want, I ain't worried See, about we were, that. See, we were the opposite. It, it didn't die unless it was on film. Oh, no. I didn't, Always. No, I was never recording. Yeah. And I had the capabilities to record, but I was never doing it. No and it shit. was just like, Tyler be like, what the hell are you doing? Like, <laughs> so I what, time. what did you get into the, when did you get into the, the photos? When did you, how did you man, learn I got to do into, photography? Man, I got into photos way before um, the whole social media thing, but. Before hunting, even mm, not before hunting, it was somewhere in between. But uh, just it, it sounds really corny to talk about. Yeah, yeah. self taught sounds corny to talk about. But I was really big into structure, trains, uh, macro shots, bugs. Yeah, I love taking pictures of bugs. People don't understand. You take that's pretty cool shit. Dude, though. you get those macro yeah. lenses on a on a butterfly or a ladybug. <laughs> that's pretty good. You know that we were we were doing an uh, elk down here, and Keith took a picture of a grasshopper with his phone, and I go. Dude, that's a pretty badass. I'm picture. telling you, and you just imagine with a big camera, man. Yeah. You know, and you're you're doing, and I just loved it, man. But at the same time, I'm like, these folks will never understand this. <laughs> like, I can't share this shit. But I have those photos. <laughs> look at I you thought, a little different, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was real big into, um, uh, you know, low light, like the astronomy part of it. You know, like UFOs, uh, star trails. <laughs> yeah, like lo long exposure, long exposure yeah. with stars. I love that shit, man. But those guys on IG wouldn't understand that because all they see is the kills. They'll be like, yeah. what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. they won't. They, you they don't get, get it. Yeah. yeah. They don't get it. Yeah. Maybe I should start a separate account and do shit like that. But. Yeah, that's. I was wondering where you got, where you kind of made that transition. Yeah, self-taught. Self taught. Self -taught. And it's crazy because my wife would be like, you're out at the bar, you're fucking around with somebody. I'm like, <laughs> I, I just check came. out this bug. I'm like, look at this fucking camera. And there'd be like 600 <laughs> shots on this camera. And she's like, you're really good at that. And I'm like, this is what, I, this you, is what I'm doing in the middle of the night. Yeah, you I'd be, weirdo. Dude, dude, I'd be on the fucking highway. I'd be I'd getting on the highway. It's so fucking crazy. I used to do this shit. And I'll get in between. I'll go. I love the toll roads. And I'll get up in between. I'll go up on these bridges. And I'll go up in between the north and southbound lanes. And I'll get these long exposure shots of the north and southbound lanes. And I know those folks were passing. I'm like, there's somebody standing right there in the dark. You know, I was taking photos, <laughs> man. That was my shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what were you using for camera? Canons. Is that what you like? Yeah. Did you ever I, try anything else or just kind of Canons? Um, Tyler got a few Sonys and ugh, you just didn't like ugh, them. It's, it's a learning curve. Once you shoot with one camera, um, it's kind of what you want to stick with. I'm real big on the Canons. Um, Rich likes Nikon, I think. Um, I think he could still run Sony's, but I cannot run. It's it's foreign to me. Yep. It's foreign. So you still got your Canons. You yeah. still got your Canon, still do some. But that's, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. It's just you, you, the, the way the Instagram is going, the way the trend is going. It sucks. You, you're, you, I, I put, fuck, dude, I put a, so much more of a value on, on a really cool, well-thought-out photo oh, that's no. edited than a fucking reel. I know, man. But... <laughs> It's fucking TikTok, man. It pisses me off. TikTok came out and Instagram was like, oh, we got to follow. We got to follow TikTok. And, and so all their fucking reels are from TikTok. It's from TikTok. And so, and like, so they started pushing it and, and it ruined the photo game, man. Yep. But it, it is what it is. The, you know, when, when Instagram first started, it was nothing but booty and tits and no Those talent, girls are pretty, yeah, no talent, yeah, and, and that, got, followers. that got wiped out, and they lost their shit because of that, so I'm, I don't know, man, it kind of sucks, because folks don't, if you don't know anything about photography, you would never be able to understand it, but I absolutely love photography, and I, I've got a few friends that I don't even hunt with no more, because it, we hunt. And I spend about an hour yeah, and a half yeah. doing photos. And yeah. I'm like, God damn, what the hell are you doing, man? Let's get the hell out of here. I'm like, I got to get my photos in. 
And I'm like, fuck off. Like, I, yeah. I don't hunt. I hunt by myself because folks don't have the patience to understand yeah. what's going on. That's freaking cool as shit. That's like oh, right in line with the same shit that I am like. I'll just go out, dude, and like on a Sunday afternoon or something and take a little cup of coffee, throw my camera in and, and have an idea with a gun picture. Yeah. And, and I'll just fucking vibe and chill and yeah. fucking take some pictures and that's the thing yeah. get your mat out on the yeah. ground because you gotta do lay some, down and get some shots yeah. on the ground do and, some cool shit yeah do some cool shit but these guys man some it's a shame like let's say for instance you know you kill a 270 inch bull or something yep. you know whatever cell phone picture what the fuck, fuck? Yeah. yeah what the fuck is that you dude? just killed a, a, an, a the animal you've been after forever and you did this with a cell phone yep, yep. get a fucking camera out learn how to use that motherfucker and take some badass photos you're gonna be able to cherish it for the rest of your life but then dude but then as soon as you do that, then everybody's like, yeah, fucking sure. You got the guy standing four or five yeah. feet back behind the yeah, end. Yeah. But no, yeah. you, you're right, though. You're right. It's There was one a, a elk shot right south here a couple, about a month ago, that was probably one of the bigger ones around. And some guy just came in and shot it luckier than shit. Nothing to do with my deal. Mm -hmm. And never even took a picture oh, of it. That's just, the first thing you said, they, too. I'm like, they, didn't, they didn't do that fucking elk any justice. No, wow. They took a just fucking cell phone picture of it in a Purina lick tub, dude. Yeah. The head stuffed in a Purina lick tub from down, and I'm like, that just fucking like, literally off, makes right? me that, sick. That pissed yeah. them off more than them. Yeah, I know it did. I, mean, I know like, it did, yeah. So that's that's just, but yeah, and I know what you're saying regarding the the photo stuff. So what do you think? Um, you, You've just pretty much quit doing photos high quality good photos no i'll still do it you a lot of the pictures that unv and yeah. ira and some other th thermal companies or rifle companies use They're are your photos. pictures yeah how can guys like see those do you have those even on your instagram no. or so, you just i got to the point where if it's work related it's strictly for work you see what i'm saying and so like some of those photos were taken months ago and until something until something needs to be released or um, somebody else has a product they want to release it, I, I'll give them all the photos they need and they can pick through it and figure out what they want to do. But damn, it's so cool to see yeah to oh, see your sure. fucking photos yeah. Yeah. on a box of right. a product, right. you know, or in a magazine. Plenty of magazines were done with some of my stuff. I'm like, man, that's fucking cool. That's man. cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. So do if you take something like that, you won't. Post it on your no, on your no, IG. no, yeah. no. Every once in a while, I will, but yeah. I try to leave it exclusive for for yeah. the company. Yeah. You know, I don't want to give it out and spoil it. You know, right. and they don't even really if they post it somewhere, do they even hardly even give you credit? Oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, I get credit for it. Yeah, I get credit for it. That's cool. and if I don't, it's all good. I still yeah. see it. It's my yeah. photo. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's your shit. Yeah, and, that's my photo. And yeah. most of the time, the word will spread. You know, or somebody like, hey, that yeah. guy knows how to take a good picture and yeah. go back. So what are you doing then? Like you're, you're, uh, kind of, I mean, you said you're still taking photos, mm -hmm. but regarding your Instagram, you're primarily going to more videos mm -hmm. or more yeah. story real stuff. type. Yeah. What do you, what do you think's working for you the best um, for, for g gaining followers and getting your content out there in a way that guys are enjoying it? What do you, th what do you feel? I, First of all, I'm I'm never trying to gain followers. Okay, never. You're not like, trying to. You're just mm -mm, doing what I don't you even do. Care about that? Yep. Yeah, I don't even care about that. But the main thing is giving the people what they want. And let's say, for example, this RS75. There's only a handful of us that have these motherfuckers. So why keep it a secret? Why yeah. not share it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So give it out. You know, spit it out and let them see it. You know. Yeah. Um. But, um. I. I still prefer photos, but but your the reels are cool. Is that what you're get? Is that what you think that you're? I mean, is that how you're kind of structuring a lot of your stuff? Is making reels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so is, I I saw it coming months ago before it really big, and I was like, I got a feeling reels is going to be the ticket now. You yeah. know what I'm saying for engagement and you know blah 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 and. I was experimenting and I started going with photos here and there. And sure enough, photos. Dude, I remember posting up some badass photos and they'll get 3,000 plus likes. And then next thing you know, it's just getting a handful, like yeah. several hundred. And that's yeah. it. That's yeah. what you think's going. People just fucking yeah. swipe right past it. Yeah. Like, yeah, fucking yeah. not as cool as real. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, all right, whatever. You know, that's like, it's, they're just IG's algorithm or whatever. They're, it's just not getting the attention that it should. And Reels is where it's at right now. 
So I, me personally, I need to slow down because a lot of those fuck that footage that I'm using in my reels need to be used on YouTube. Yeah, right? you know, yeah. and and a lot of it I haven't shared. So when I do this RS, I want to I want to hunt with you guys, and then I'm going to drop an RS75 video um and and talk about this hunt as well on, on youtube YouTube. on youtube do a, yeah. do, do, i got yeah. you yeah because people need to hear about this story man i've been watching you guys a lot of people don't know man but again you watching you guys i was like holy shit i can do this too but in a different way down here yeah, you know yeah. What i'm saying like yeah. i want to do yeah. this you know yeah you know i remember the whole tactical guns and the, the gear and all that used to be frowned upon you know and i was like fuck that we can do this too. you know i don't have to be out here with a bdl 7 you know 700 yep, exactly like i can i can run some badass shit we can run right, big yep. badass equi- you know expensive equipment on these game you know mm-hmm. and oh man i'm i'm so glad i made that move it's it's been badass it's just a it in the overall scheme of things it's a force multiplier because not only is it more fun to use that kind of shit and it and in my opinion it makes more sense Mm -hmm. but it there's a certain i've said it a bunch of times there's a certain kind of interest from guys that watch it yeah that or or even like an infatuation with something that they themselves can't get their hands Mm -hmm. on like you know you got the rs75 or some of the fucking tricked out guns that you got a a lot of guys don't have the capability Mm -hmm. to to do that i get it so they're like oh shit they do a double take yeah and they're like you know if that that intrigues them that Mm -hmm. gets their interest and that's it's not purposely done but it's just something that just goes right in line with it like you know the shit that you're using down there is it's it's now it's turned into a tool for your job oh you you get that tool like your guns you can feel them and you're like all right fuck these are set up good these are set up to where we would use them how they are they got custom triggers they're all custom everything's custom oh yeah set up no corn no no corners cut exactly no corners cut and that's that's a it's i think if you're doing it hard it's just the the common sense way to yeah yeah i've um, half-assed it a few times and those guns are no longer around <laughs> they're no yeah, longer around that's how that shit works. Yeah, yeah so if you're uh if you're doing your thing at night primarily solo oh yeah most what of the about time. what about like um what do you do you do some stuff with chris do you how often yeah. do you go hunt with tyler how often do you go do you go ever go with rich very often like how t- walk us through uh a half of a year mm-hmm. walk us through six months of the prime time killing season for you or your, your, your killing time and how often the percentage ad lib a percentage on how time you're going. So how much you're going solo versus, you know, you'll go out and set a, a, a certain time aside for hunting with Tyler or is it sporadical if Chris will give you a call and say, Hey dude, I might, you know, you want to go, I need to trigger pull mm-hmm. or something. How, how, what do you, what's your structure for that? So, um, the honey hole by my house, I do that primarily by myself um, because it's just never going to produce for, for multiple people. So I try to do that by myself as much as I can. And then um, with Tyler, I hunt with Tyler like once a week, once or twice a week. Like we're, we're hunting on a weekly basis. Often. And, uh, yeah, often. we're hunting pretty often. And most of the time it's with Chris, you know. Um, but, you know, we got our own little honey holes. You know, we go to those. I go to those with, with, with Tyler. Um I'll go to East Texas and hook up with Estian. Um, I got a buddy of mine, Lucas, that's out west. I'll hunt with him quite a bit as well. Um, it's usually me and somebody else. Rich, I'll hunt with Rich probably you know, once or twice a year, to be honest with you. Um, me and Rich are like two totally different entities. You know, like uh, he, he's, he, he's got his thing. He's got to get his footage for the YouTube channel. You know, like he's got his thing. And um, – we just don't hunt as much together, but we could. I know for a fact if I picked up the phone, I was like, "Hey, Rich, can I hunt with you guys?" He'll be like, "Yeah, come on," you know. But and he's what? A couple hours, you said from you? Um, yeah, like about two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah, yep. about two and a half yep. hours. So, um, you know, that's another thing. Uh, you know, those East yeah. Texas runs. That's two and a half hours that's there it. hunting. Two and a half hours right. back. Yeah, that's the just sun's coming up. Crazy, you talking about it or anything like that? Where we're so close together, and I mean, thirty minutes or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's. Or I'm out here all the time, or we're always somebody's here. Mm-hmm. Where you guys got to travel a little bit just yeah. to hook up with each just other. Just to hook up. The state's so big, right? The state's so big, yeah. and I get invites so, to other places, and I'm like, whoa, that's too damn far. Let's say you're going to Tyler's or whatever. How far do you have to go to your spots then? 
me me and Tyler, some of our spots can be um, an hour. Shit. And then some yeah. of them are, are two yeah. and a half hours. Oh, shit. What about the close ones? The close one, my little honey hole is 15 miles. Yeah. So it'll take me 20 minutes to get there. Yeah. And that's, it used to be 1,100 acres. Now it's like 2,000 acres. And will you just, like, if you're going to go to your honey hole, will you mm-hmm. sit there, like, no. for all night or just go tear, I'm always tear it moving. up and then? I'm always moving. Okay. Always moving. I cannot. Right. right. I don't I don't frown upon box blind hunters. I don't. But you would but never I mean, catch me sitting right. still. And we're the same way. We don't I mean always moving. But once you go hit that spot, are you there for a couple hours or oh, no. all night or no, like the other night. Like I went out, I parked my truck, I looked over, there was two pigs. Oh shit. Go pop 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 dropped them, loaded up loaded up the pigs, took pictures, went home. Okay. Didn't even check the rest right. of the property. And I know right. they're out there. Yeah. But the pressure is so heavy that I need to just get a quick kill, leave them alone. Right. Because right. you go in there and you start wiping out a circle, and then you leave, you're not going to see nothing for a week or two. I was going to say, what, a couple weeks maybe? Or, maybe yeah. two weeks, yeah. you yeah. know. But now I I get I try to concentrate on a one-shot, one kill. I call it a hog management. That's my hog, manage, my hog management program. <laughs> HMP. So you're not get, – you're more – let's talk about that. It goes right into, like, your firearms choice. What do you – What what's your – choice for that if you're going for more of a precise or a more of a one oh, shot gun. instead of a is that what you're doing All when way. when it when you first started doing it you were primarily were you primarily ar platform when i first started yeah 270 it was bolt gun, it was bolt gun. It really? was like, yeah. but then but then yeah. somewhere in the middle you were like w- w- I, I did go to so when i first got into this i hated ars yeah i used to talk shit about ars and then but you gotta think about this yeah 20 years ago the ar industry was nothing like what it is now you had uh, you had three major manufacturers. Major, yeah. yeah, you had uh, DPMS, Colt, Colt exactly, uh, Armalite, Armalite. Yeah. yeah, God, remember those three oh eight? They had no rail, no yeah. no yeah. no monolithic rail. They had yeah. a tube rail with a huge freaking upper receiver. Anyways, that's what we had back then. And then just overnight, the industry blew up, and you were able to get pretty much any cartridge you wanted in the AR. And I was like. It'll never be as accurate as a bolt gun, you know. Yeah. You're yeah. talk. You're talking yourself out of it. Yeah. yeah. And then I got back into it, and I'm like, "Oh shit, I'm slaying like crazy!" And yeah. Then next thing you know, I don't have any pigs left. <laughs> that see, that's what I could see. Like how where you're down there doing pigs, how how beneficial a semi-auto is going to mm-hmm. be for fall. It's just common sense, yeah. follow-up yeah. shots and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, when you have twenty targets, thirty targets, yeah. you would have to have. Five solid shooters with bolt guns making yeah. consecutive hey, hits. Hey, five solid shooters. Yeah, 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 yeah five yeah, solid. How hard so, is that? There be? ain't many people that can run bolt guns efficiently. <laughs> yeah. And I'm still learning. I'm getting good. But follow-up shots with a bolt gun, to watch somebody clean up with a bolt gun, that's that's some next-level shit. There sure. is no, there's yeah. not many people sharing that content. There's people talking. Yeah, let's talking see, shit. Yeah. Let's, let's see, see the video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's see the video of you working a fucking bolt gun on pigs. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, no shit, dude. So, like, you're you were you were running ARs primarily. What were you going into regarding cartridges? Your with cartridge a, with an AR, yeah, with an AR. When um, you were when you were smashing shit, when you were just doing mag dumps and shit, when you were going in and hot and heavy, freaking pounding it down. Two, two, three. Is that what you're using? Yeah, I was using originally. I was using two, two, three, and then having good luck with it. Damn good luck, and. I, I veered away from it because I had I had a few you know you, you get some bad experiences yeah. with it you know so I was just like oh man I'm I'm gonna get out of this I want to ch- I want to go bigger you know, um anyways uh Tyler was starting to shoot a lot of 300 blackout a couple years back supersonic and, yeah supersonic 300 blackout and uh, we were doing a hunt one night and we didn't see I think we seen a few things but anyways uh Kyle came out and Tyler just posted up on a tripod dropped that motherfucker and I was just like. Okay. And that was quiet, like really quiet, suppressed. And I was like, I really like that. So I, I got into the 300 blackout for a little bit, got away from it, started getting up to 308, you know, and I I pretty much got stuck on 308 for a long time. But how'd you like that? How'd you like that flow regarding from a 223 to the recoil of a 30? You were probably shooting, do you know what your loads were? You shooting like 175? 160, 168. 168. I was real big on the 168s at the time. And. Big difference on recoil and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, when you're when you're running suppressed and you got a good balance rig, it wasn't that bad. Um, but you know, we had several instances, you know, several 
incidents in the country where ammo was was yep. was a big issue. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I don't know about this. Like, it's getting hella expensive to shoot this shit. And that's when I went over to seven six two by thirty nine. And when I went to seven six two, I was like, oh shit, it's on. Yeah, Jimmy like, still has a few of those over at the house that he wants to give you. He doesn't know anyone else with that caliber. <laughs> So then Jimmy needs to learn the game <laughs> <laughs> up here. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. So you're, but then you decided to roll away from the, the AR mm -hmm. kind of, kind of, and get into the precision bolt yeah. gun side of things yeah. within what the past few years. Yeah. Like the past three years, three years. So yeah. you're, I, I don't want to really deep into it in the last three years, getting all into the, you've got an LRI build. Yeah. Tyler has an LRI build. Yeah. Tyler's got a Gunworks build. What else do you have? Um, what else? I got an LRI. I got SNSs. I got an ETX and, um, it's pretty much it. What, can, what are, several, what, are several. what do you, what's your favorite? For doing the work that you do, that you do, what's your favorite setup? Uh, it's some folks are gonna get pissed well, when I hear this. We we like we were talking <laughs> earlier. You all you switch your shit up a lot. All the You're time. pulling your barreled action out, putting it into a chassis, yeah. putting it into the manners. Always switching, always switching. And one, it's to keep companies happy. You know what I'm saying? Like sharing the love, you know. And then two, it's a comfort thing. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood for a 45 degree grip on a on a on a on a manners, you know what I'm saying? Like I want a 90 grip, you know, sometimes I want a heavy rig. Sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes I want a long one. And sometimes I want to run a shorty, you know? So it's just, it's all about that mood that I'm in. So I'm, I'm constantly switching shit up. I need to stop because we've had these conversations with like, you, you start getting in a groove with things, you start shooting yep. really well. You need to stay with that. Yep. Yeah. I can't do that. I got to constantly move. And, and you don't have any issues with performance or your capabilities going from one different stock with a different mm -mm. feel to another, mm -mm. You, you don't give a shit about that. No, nah, no, nah, it don't bother me. Yeah, I'm me. kind of the same way. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a mood thing. And uh, what's your what what do you run like? What's go back to what what's your favorite setup right now for what you're doing? Your favorite bolt rifle run through the. My you, favorite is the LRI six five. With all, like, what do you got that built? Like the the stock that you you like the most on it. What do you run in that thing? That what has, do you got on the optic? What what do you what's your run through on it? I like I like the L. It's so it's a it's a twenty inch LRI with a hardy carbon barrel. Remington action has been modified with dual ejectors and an M sixteen extractor, and it does not operate like a standard seven hundred. It's like butter. It'll it'll move on its own if you tilt it. You know, um, Manners MCS. Uh, at, at the PRS MC, uh, MCS PRS or PRS MC, I can't remember, uh, with the EFR on it, all that suppressed. I love it with the Otter Creeks Lab PR30L on it, and I like it with the Bolt TL35, which is a 384. But damn, you I like shoot, that though, dude. I shoot lights out with that damn scope. Man. What's the why do you like that over the 50 so, or the Mark One or anything? So I don't like the Rico series on a bolt action. I tried it with the RL42, but the 50, I just don't, I don't like the feel on the bolt gun. And I did it and I did it well, but it just wasn't as comfortable as a, as the bolt series. The difference between the 35 and the 50 is that mill, the, the objective size. So the 50, it, I shoot really good with the TH50C. Everybody's seen that, but the TH50C picks up a lot of heat off that suppressor, which fucks up footage for me so that's is that primarily why you went from the 50 to the 35 well or, i went from the 35 to the 50 and i haven't been back to the 35 oh, okay but, i got you but i got you i i if i was to just say hey this is what i want to run right now like you told me this is what's it's that it, that is that combo i slaughtered all year last year with that setup do you have was, a custom trigger in that yes trigger tech trigger, gotcha. just got a trigger tech, so yeah. there's nothing well even after they after chad ran through the the action on that it's custom it's custom it's all fun. yeah it it's a all diamond custom. or primary or what it's a diamond. diamond it's a diamond yeah with grind hard ammunition it shoots 131 so it, what i like about it is that it's what's soft the caliber shooting. what caliber is it it's six five creed more that's 6.5 creed right now i'm on six creed which i'm growing on i'm learning it but that six five creed with the 131s work well on pigs and coyotes that's that's the big hard thing to find is like finding one that's going to work equally on both animals effectively you know yeah that's with, tough. So what do uh, the the fellow that you work with for the ammo? Uh, Austin. 
Uh, Austin West with uh, Grind Hard Ammunition. We see a lot of posts that you put up using his stuff with yeah. freaking shit dead. So it yeah. must work good. Yeah. But does is with that custom rifle and the ammo that he sent out to you, uh, did it just freaking... It, sh- or did you have to go through a couple different... Mm-mm. So let me tell... This is... Then I tell people this. I have no problem telling people this. The Lehigh Controlled Chaos is not for your PRS thousand yard shooter want to punch paper. That's not what that ammunition is for that ammunition control chaos. That's for killing. So at a hundred yards, it stacks fine. It does really good with that gun, but I, anything past 700 yards, I'm not going to go for it because dude, you look at, look at the fucking hollow, but did you see the hollow point on that yeah. thing? I mean, that thing's yeah. catching all kinds of drag, dude. Yep. You know, yep. like it's a huge hollow point and it's solid copper. It's designed for killing. I kill. Yeah. I'm not a paper puncher. Have you, have you done any work with those at like, just like range time? Range time? Like, like, yeah. Like, like shooting St- decent groups or, or trying to reach out there a ways and just see what just, for the hell of it, you know, on steel. It's 550 to 600. I'm extreme. You don't want to stick your hand up. You're freaking solid. I'm solid. After that, it starts to open up. After that, it starts to open up. And it's just not a, it's just not a, a, a cartridge for that, for that range. Which, how often do you, I mean, even shoot that far anyway? I don't. It's kind of just more for fun. It's just more for fun. Trigger time and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, trigger time practice, you yep. know. I, I, but it, I don't. I don't want to shoot that far at an animal. Yeah, I'm the same. We're the same way. We build the rifles to that capability mm-hmm. that, that'll exceed it, mm-hmm. but we yeah, unless yeah, you never hard. I mean, 400 yards maybe every once in a while, just because you just, just yep. yeah, three, just I think just you can because he yeah. sat on the hill and looked at us and yeah. pushed us off. Yeah, yeah. three three to four hundreds right about the sweet spot. Thermal, totally different game. These folks, you hear and I know y'all hear it too. I want to be able to go five, six hundred yards oh, with my third. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, all right, dude. <laughs> all right, go ahead and put your dope in and uh, get your little five hundred yard zeros. You're full of shit. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. There's yeah. people out there that's doing it, but it's not the norm. Oh yeah, it'll happen. And it's yeah, not. It's and not it's, the norm. And even the people that are, I'm going out on a limb and saying a lot of the shit that's involved there is luck when yeah, it happens. Yes, yes, yes. But yes. you, you could. I mean, have you used? Have you been around? Or well, I'm sure you have. But have you ever used a good thermal clip on that? you can use like your, your one of your solid day optics behind and actually tried to shoot shit at it, like when I'm, I'm saying like a long ways, 800, mm-hmm. four, not no, really, not no, really. No, yeah. I, and, and I should, I should try it, but no, I, with the RH 25, the micro three, I think it was like three something. I was able to pop a pig and it worked. I did it, but again, it's, like it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why when you have yeah. the capability or the access to something so much better mm-hmm. for well, it might not be better, but your weapon sight is yeah. going to be significantly yeah, way better. more. Yeah, way more better. Yeah. So what's your therm? Well, right now, what do you think about the? Uh, well, let's let's go here. So you do the a lot of a lot of the shooting. What what do you do? You, do you try to purposely get? Do you allocate time to go out? once or twice a week and get some solid trigger time for for just shooting just training tech you get your technique shoot, fundamentals or what how, what do you do i shoot more during the week than i actually hunt really yeah uh i'm i got a little designated spot at the ranch and at the, at after the, work so explain to us on this ranch like how does that work don't you don't give any names but yeah. how does it work you you uh, you're your friends you have uh permission on a mm-hmm. specific ranch mm-hmm. where yeah. you can do all sorts of whatever i want res- Absolutely. Gone ever. Hernandez. Family out. So, like I said, I used to work out there, lived out there. My family goes out there when they want to. Uh, my best friend, one of my best friends, he he runs it. And he knows, he sees what I'm doing. He sees the difference. But there is some big dollar horses out there. Oh. Big dollar. And some of these, they sometimes they let them roam, you know, on some pretty good acreage, you know, and. You know, a hog waller, they see a hog waller, and these horses are out there playing and running around, and they get caught up in that shit, man, and they can they can roll themselves up and get hurt, you know, it's, it's happened. And so once they started seeing the pastures getting cleaned up with the pigs and the damage started decreasing, they were like, 
you got free range yep. in the motherfucking yep. place. Go do what you want. You know, we ain't got nothing to worry about. And yep. they know I'm safe around. I love those horses and those cows just as much as I if like they're my yep. own, you know. But um anyways, I have a designated little area down there and I'd be I I, I go, when I get done with work, I'll go out there before nightfall. I always shoot, man. I always there's so many people out there that are in this game, like the only trigger time they get is when they hunt. Yeah. And they wonder Yep. Oh man, yeah. I missed a yeah. shot. Like blame but, it on the equipment. Yeah, they want to blame it on something else. And how you do these runners and all that. And don't you can't practice on runners, but not, you you still got to get trigger time in. Yep. You know, yep. you got to know what your bullet is capable of doing. So like, if I switch over to a caliber, I need to practice with that caliber. You know what I'm saying? And keep that keep my muscle memory going. Do you have uh, every time you go out there and? in practice or shoot do you already have your steel set up out there i have multiple plays uh multiple steel set up so like i do 50 yard zeros i have 100 yards uh a, a steel set up and then automatically i got one at 300 and then i got another one at 500 that i have to put out there because of the cows all the time okay the cows so, will bump it so from zero to 300 you it's there yeah yeah and i always practice from pretty much 50 to 300 yards i'm always practicing because you gotta know what your bullet can do because at night time you don't have time to sit there and oh i'm gonna go up to this next you know i don't like to go use magnification on my thermals so i always need to have know what my holds are at those distances so do you do that you do that you use a reticle you actually use, utilize it i utilize it i on, utilize it on on without digitally magnifying no it magnification if you yep. look at my reticle there's a specific reticle that i use a lot of guys like to use the little single reticle the little it's just a little crosshair it's, it's like yep. a dot yeah That's, i can't yep. use that i can if things are real close but mm -hmm. when i'm tracking animals i got to track animals with that with that reticle that i'm using i forgot what number it is um but uh, I got to use that reticle to stay aligned with the animals when they're moving. And yep. also I can judge my lead with my reticle. I'm, it, so many people are watching me. Video, they're probably not even paying attention yep. to that shit. But I'm looking at that when I'm shooting at these fucking pigs. I'm, yep. I'm watching my reticle. This most recent reel that I did, the second pig, I was able to see my point of impact above him. Like I'm, I hit the grass. And I was able to see that and make adjustments with my reticle, and I nailed them before he hit the trees. Yeah, is that's it that reticle instead of curiosity? No, not no, that reticle. No. Yeah, go see, to my I, IG and you'll see it. I, I don't like those; just the very small one either. It seems it's, like it's, it's hard tough. to find mm -hmm. when when Fast the animals anyways. are moving. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard when the animals are moving. Good for footage, though. Yeah, the single ones are real good. For yeah, footage. don't cover up anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are what are some of your goals for for the future you i mean do you have specific goals for anything like your social media your youtube your instagram certain things that you might be working with tyler on or do you just kind of go with the flow um I'll, I'll be honest with you i always went with the flow like what was trending you know what i'm saying but this year i'm i need to be pushing youtube and it's something that that other people are telling me to do they're like amateen come on like fuck man we want to see some of that shit. yeah it's right there at your fingertips why aren't you doing it you know and it's it's funny because whenever you get in a groove of it you can do it consistently you know look at chris what he was doing like fucking he blew the yeah. fuck up because he was consistently yep. posting yeah you know and i always talk about it on youtube and i talk about it in my life he's okay i'm gonna try to do one or two videos yeah. you can talk yeah i'm it, the same way it's so hard to act yep it's so hard. Yep. And but you get into that rhythm and you'll fucking stay there if you mm -hmm. can get there. Yeah. You yeah. you would be really good at for like YouTube doing your your review shit. Mm -hmm. The gear. The, it's yeah. endless. Yeah. There's so exactly. much. Exactly. There is, I know for a fact that there's enough shit on there for the rest of the year. Yeah. Exactly. And not the rest of this year, but, you know, a full 2023 year. Yeah. Well, for, for like a video every week. Dude, it, there's so much equipment. That was it's the first stupid. time I saw you was, I think it was a, your review of the UH1 mm -hmm. on the, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That video actually did pretty good. Um, Yeah, it's, I just love the equipment, man. I what do you it. think you'll do on you uh, if you try to focus more towards YouTube? How? What are you going to orient your videos towards? Are you going to do... The, the, like like reviews mm -hmm. like the, the equipment the, the hard part is it's like i still enjoy hunting yep and i still want to be able to incorporate the hunting with the gear and that's what fucks these videos up for me sometimes it's like 
some people don't know nothing about the killing and they don't want to see it. Some yeah. people do want to see it. So sometimes I'll just, just do the gear and it's, and then you'll see the comments. Well, where's the fucking hunts? Like, yep. you know, how does it do on pigs? And blah, yep. blah, blah. Well, I, and it's, it's a hard balance to find, you know, but I think I, I think I'm going to concentrate more on the gear and do the hunting part separate on YouTube. On the same channel. On the same Just channel. Just create like a separate playlist yeah, or something. Yeah. Your equipment reviews and then your hunts. Yeah, and then my hunts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, and literally, it doesn't have to be three weeks of footage put together in one video. It can be as, as yeah. a weekly basis. Hey, yeah. I just smoked this fucking coyote. Yep. Got to see this shit, you know, and tell the story, share with the equipment, how it went down and post it up. That's going to happen. I know for a fact that's going to happen. I'm waiting on something else to go through right now, but that's going to happen this year. That would be, yeah, that would be a lot of content. Even, even on a one night hunt, yeah. you know, you could get certain amount of content out there just for a, a, a complete video yeah eight 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 ten minute video on a weekly basis i'm out there doing it anyway what's what do you how do you kind of want to structure your videos like are you going to get into do you are, how good are you or what kind of do you get crazy editing or no what? no that's the part that i don't want to get into you you just do some just a little bit here and just there a little of cutting bit and yeah just not little, crazy b roll bullshit mm -mm, stuff adding music and all this kind of, I, I that will kill me yeah it, that's Time. where it turns into work yep. and I don't I don't have that so you know? what are you thinking then are you gonna think maybe do what about doing some vlogs and shit like that like when you do after a hunt bingo. or before a hunt bingo and then, and that's exactly what I want to do is a little bit more vlog like right now right now I'll go on a hunt I'll kill something and I'll vlog in my stories. Guess fucking guess what? All that shit's gone yeah, in twenty four yeah. hours. Yep. Why am I not sharing this shit on is, YouTube? Is there yeah, a YouTube live too. Yeah, yeah. there is a YouTube live, which YouTube. I haven't even looked at any of that shit. But yeah, I don't but, like it. So yeah. your camera, you just you wouldn't just use your phone and then use your camera and record it, and then you could post it to you your could. story. But for I mean for the YouTube format, it's gonna be a fucking well. Guess what? YouTube is going over to that real format. I forgot what what size it is. I didn't know that. I've noticed oh, that too. Oh yeah, they you don't want to see sixteen nine no more. Really, dude? I had some dude call me out. Sixteen nine is a thing of the past, bro. I forgot what size that is, but I don't either. Yeah, I've watched a couple YouTube videos where you turn your phone the wrong direction. And you're mm -hmm. like, why is it so little? You turn it in the no, right direction. I'm it's like, up yeah, and down, full screen. Yeah, full screen. Like we're using our phones. That's what they want. That's what they want. For 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 like YouTube shorts. No. There's YouTube Legit videos. Legit videos. So they YouTube videos are done like that. Or what? I, I so guess. it'll that's be what like it is. So yeah. they'll be uh, I that's how freaking much yeah. I don't pay ten, attention ten to. Ten minute show. long oh, videos I, that are full screen like full this. Full screen like that. I've been well, watching. How it. fast and easy could you get content out there then? If I could do it that way, I can I know for a fact I can do it two 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 two, two times a week. Yeah. Easily. Because man, look, there's Dude, we're talking now. I think my last video was posted up. Maybe it was a guy that got shot. Um, so that video was posted like a month ago. What are you, what are you saying? What are you talking about? A guy that got shot. What do you, you mean? You ain't like, been hearing about that? No. What? 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 <laughs> I think I might have heard it on your side. So that. you did a YouTube sure. video about I it? I did a YouTube video. I reached out to the guy and I talked to him and I said, hey, man, is it okay if I do a video about your incident? Because he got fucked on a deal. And I said, I said, people need to know about this because I preach safety on a, every time I do a video or my lives or whatever I'm talking, if you follow me, you hear me talking about this shit. I've did videos on situational awareness. We got so many people in the fucking game that are fresh, wet behind the ears. Uh, you, they just bought a thermal. They want to go out and hunt. But the last thing they're thinking about is what could go wrong. It, this shit is dangerous, especially if you have a crew of three or four. Watching yes. you guys do pigs Sweep like that on tripods, a fucking pack of hard. It, 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 it looks scary, but we got our shit together. Yeah, yeah, we got our shit together, and we don't have those fucking accidents. But this this accident happened. The guy got shot with a seven six two by thirty nine, right behind the shoulder, and it blew out right here, and it fucked him up. Well, I can imagine. He's lucky he's alive. He's lucky he's alive. But the cocksucker that fucking shot him said that. He didn't move, and it was his fault that was, he got was shot. Was it thermal or night? It was thermal. I posted so up the video. Well, here's the, oh, the you, footage. Oh, the, who oh, pulled the shit, trigger? The, who pulled the trigger? You pull the trigger, and it's your responsibility until that bullet stops. Yeah, yeah. There's I want to no say the motherfucker's name, but nowadays, they yeah. they want to be little weasels. 
fuck weasels is what I call them. Yeah. And they'll try to they'll try to sue you and shit. But he thinks he's he calls himself the number one content creator. He wants to be a hog god. Yeah, man, it's bad. He's a threat to the community, dude. That's all I gotta say. Really? He's a threat to the industry. Was it pretty I had no recently. Fucking, it was recently. Does does he have quite a few followers? No. Oh, okay. No, he right sucks right. ass. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's, he does. Yeah. He really sucks. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you his. I'll, sh I'll show you his content. It's I got pretty you. bad. It's it's scary. I I didn't have any idea I about that about deal. That. Yeah, neither did yeah. I. It pissed so, me off. So so when you do a YouTube video, what are you using now? Your Canon to record it? Yeah, I use the Canon. I use. Or do you the, have like a handy cam or mm -mm, what? I use. I need to get a handy cam, but I use the Canon because I'm able to use the mic, which has a sock on it, and do yep. just. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's been going on, but the last year and a half, I've been trying to do videos. It's always windy. Yeah. So you can't use your cell phone the way you want to, you know. So I try to use the Canon for the clean, you know, audio. Um, but I'd rather have a handy cam or use my cell phone. It's just a lot yeah. easier. Yeah. And are you just going out there setting the tripod up and doing all that mm -hmm. shit yourself? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a one man crew. Then throw it up on. Do you take it to your computer, edit it how you want mm -hmm. to, and just then trim it, edit, and post it up. Just keep it authentic as possible, man. Yep. Keep it all. They, they love. I think that's what's been working. Is what uh, are what are some of your bigger videos? Like what are some of your your most watched videos on? Um, man, just the, the equipment, the equipment. Yeah, the guns. They like the guns, yep. like the PWS, the CMMG. Um, my um, my three hundred eight build. They love that. That made love that because. It was an arrow precision build that anybody can build. They love that shit, man. And, it, and I, I understand why, because anybody could do it. I was going to say. So did you just spec it out? You're just sitting there and you you do your review and you go, this is what it is. This is the caliber that I selected. Mm -hmm. And then what? this is the barrel length. That, this, that that one, I forgot how many views that video got, but it, it's like one of my biggest videos. There's nothing in the millions, like some of y'all's videos, but it was one of my most trending vids. And it was funny because my wife was out there and she was recording with my cell phone. And I was just literally shooting it, showing it people how it cycled, how it worked. It was a good looking gun. I actually showed some hunts with it and I included it with the video, some of the hunts and showed that it worked, you know, and that you can do this too, you know? Yeah. That's, that's a, uh, I was just kind of curious. About yeah. That. The, they like the builds. Yeah. I noticed this, the stuff that some people can't touch. Those videos are, are really hard for, they don't, they don't get the engagement really. Cause it's like, $23,000, you fuck, fuck that. I'm out of here. Just some guy recently commented, as soon as I heard the price, I, I, I went to the next video. I'm like, well, I didn't tell you to buy it. Yeah, damn, no shit. Calm no down. shit. shit. They're no going to lose their shit. Everybody can look at cool <laughs> shit, even <laughs> if you can't afford it, yeah. can't buy it. I yeah, like I to look at pictures of freaking $100,000 cars I'm yep. never going to All own. day, same here, all day, all day. They're going to lose their shit when they see this damn RS-75 video. <laughs> That's what I was. Twenty-three thousand dollars. What the fuck? You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, people want to call you an idiot, and then I freaking had it on an air gun for like three weeks, <laughs> just to shoot pigs and cotton. Stupid. No, I, I was shooting <laughs> cottontails and mice. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, but dude. Well, let's pay your house off. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do what? Uh, what's the some of the bullshit that you deal with? Oh man! What's some of the you get death threats the, daily? Uh, yeah, it's like that. bad. And yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's the guys that want to do what we're doing. The jealous guys. It's the guys that do want to do what we're doing. It's the same guy that's down the fucking highway that's pig hunting. It's the same guy down the highway that's coyote hunting. Yeah. It's the same guy down the road that's got the same fucking gun. It's the same <laughs> fucking guys. People think it's tree huggers. People think it's yeah. the liberals. It's yeah. not. Yeah. It's the guys doing the same fucking thing that you're doing that ain't doing shit with their lives. Yeah. It's it's that's just the way it is, and I ignore them. I block them. Yeah. I don't even engage yeah. with you. Call me whatever you want. Block yeah. next person. That motherfucker blocked. They're going ultimate night vision or IRA. That mother sending email. That motherfucker blocked me. <laughs> they get mad. Fuck off. Block them there too. Yeah. Fuck off. Gave man. you enough time to even I mean, send yeah. an email. Yeah. Fuck off, man. We have that where guys will turn us in for shit that we have nothing to do with. And you know damn well it's exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's some dude that does what you do, that knows who you are, that's probably even fucking came out here and hunted an elk sometime. Mm -hmm. And he's, I know, I, I, I have intel from a couple guys that have told me shit that guys have said. And then they come right up to you and they're like yeah. your best friend, dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And you know it, but they don't. You know, and I'm right just like, in your face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, What's up, would, killer? What's up, yep, dude? They I'm like, never talk mother. that shit in your face. Yeah. 
I know yep. some of those motherfuckers have ran into me in the past. I went to NRA. I go to the gun shops, the local gun shops all the time, and I see people all the time, and I'm like, <laughs> nobody has yet to talk shit in my face. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. won't either. No, but that social media it's too makes, easy to do it. Oh, on the boy, yeah. that social media will have them feeling big yeah. dick. Yeah. yeah, but what the hell do you do about it? You know, yeah. what, ban them. If you can, if they're the right ones. Yeah, get rid of them. Yeah. It's it's so sad because you think that this community is is very supportive. It's, it's not. cutthroat, dude. It's cutthroat because you you you're, you're you're automatically in position right now where 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 anybody in your position is like you're gonna have a target on your back. Oh yeah. No no matter even like if you're Grand Thumb, if you're any of those guys, of the- they might come across well on on like you you have a good personality for it. You talk good. You fucking have just the personality for it. And that's always going to make somebody jealous. Mm-hmm. They ain't got it. Man. Some of these folks, they can't talk. Some of them can't shoot. Yeah. Some of them ain't got the gear. Yeah. They, some of them don't even have the animals to go after. Yeah. And they're just mad. It's exactly. crabs in the bucket, buddy. Yep. Crabs in the bucket. And, but fortunately, the majority of those guys like what you do. Oh, oh, uh, 100%. And, and, and man, I, I'm, I, I wish there was a way that I could just reach out to these folks and yeah. be like, hey, appreciate man, come, it, dude. Yeah, man. Like, yep. come on, man. Let's go. Let's go yep. slay, man. You know, yep. like, let's go have lunch. Let's go grab something to drink. You know, yep. I wish I, I I could do that with every single person that backed me up since day one. And I know some of those cats have been backing me up since day one. Um, but I, it's just too many people. Yeah, there's it's people that yeah. there's so many good people good. out there. Ninety nine percent of the people that follow us that follow you follow ultimate night vision enjoy it and they like it and they're good mm-hmm. and there's a half a percent that are just yeah. they're sorry douchers yeah they're sorry there, hell, there's there's one guy that's been following me he's he's seen that i was getting really big into the boat game dude hooked me up with a 1500 dollars chassis yeah hooked me up with barrels yep hooked me up. doesn't own a company he's just regular dude yep. he texts and he's like man i love what the fuck you yeah do. you're doing good solid and shit i'm man. like what the, what the fuck yeah like it felt weird and i'm like thank you man yeah like uh, seriously it was just like it's i can't explain it man it gives me goosebumps just thinking about what he did man that's cool yeah it was awesome that's cooler and shit to hear that you do little things like that like we just did uh, some some dumbass uh instagram or a store instagram story and i'm like hey so John's drinking out of this cup. I'm drinking yeah. out of this cup, and Keith's drinking out of this cup. You guys have any any anybody out there got any good recommendations on freaking coffee cups? And had like half a dozen people within an hour go, "Dude, I've got this. How about this? How about that?" That's and some dude, awesome, some man. dude put in three, which I'll find him and tag him when we get him. Uh, I was hoping that we had him today, but they death, never showed up. Death something. Death wish. Death, death wish, wish coffee cups. These motherfucking cups are like a hundred or two hundred dollars a cup. Wow. Per cup, he goes. They're in the mail to you, dude. And I'm like, the fuck? All that's right. awesome, I'm like, dude, man. I just, that's little, cool. Little things, dude. That's, that's just awesome, cool as man. shit. Yeah, yeah. There's good people out oh, there, fuck man. Yeah. They're all over the place. And, and and we need to be doing stuff for other people, yeah. too. You yes. know, like, I, I mentioned this on one of my live feeds, and I was like, and I see these folks in the comment sections. You know, there's these, this the normal, you know, you got this normal follower that's always, and I want to reach out to those guys and be like, hey, man, like, I want you to come out. Even if we don't see anything, I still want you to get behind the gear. I want you to get the experience, yeah, but yeah. it's not it's not guaranteed. But I just I want you to feel. I want you to know why I do this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And let them get that experience. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. But we just ain't gonna. I'm not gonna just grab somebody and be like, "Hey, we're gonna go do rundowns and you know mow down 15 pick night." Yeah. No, we ain't yeah. doing that shit. How are you gonna structure that? What's your What's your decision making in that my process? My decision making is, is just. I'm going to, I already know some of those guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching. I know who they are. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. I know who they are. And, and, and just look, because some of their pages are public. Just see who they really are. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know, you know, you never know who you're bringing out, but, um, I still want to be able to say that I did that, you know, paying it forward, you know, but not with equipment, not with a giveaway or anything like that. Like I just want personal you, shit. Yeah. I want yeah. you to come out yeah. here and meet me. I want you to know who I am yeah. because maybe he started out like you did. And didn't have exactly, nobody. man. Yeah. God, dude, I wish, I wish 20 years ago, man, somebody had reached out to me yeah. and be like, Hey, yeah. team, let's, let's go over here. Let me show you how yeah. to do this. Check you this know? Out. Yeah. yeah. Nobody did that. Give nobody did time. that. Yeah. And it might, it might, it might 
boost him to do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. It probably bring him in the game. Yeah, dude. You never know. Like for example, we had a kid. He well, he's not a kid. He's my age now. The very first guided elk hunt I ever did, like a decade ago, mm -hmm. this kid was the first guy. And I remember shooting his elk. He remembers you. It what you were up there with us, and we quartered the elk out of the pines, hauled him up. You know, about not quite a half a mile, but through some rough enough mm -hmm. shit that you didn't. It was it was tough. Yeah. He, Ten years later, his dad drew an elk tag. Oh, I want in just this year. Okay. His dad drew an elk tag, and we got him an elk, and he came out and hunted with his dad on the same place. It with the same guide basically, wow. and I I talked to him in person for the first time in a decade, and I'm like, dude, how's things going? He goes, and and he didn't say this, but you could you you got the vibe, you could tell mm -hmm. from that first elk hunt that he paid for and he went on, he fucking goes everywhere now. Wow, he go he that's his gig. That's yeah. where all of his money goes to another hunt yeah. somewhere. Like he was yeah. just getting ready to go to North Carolina to do a big black bear hunt. And it all kind of stemmed from that first big, big game animal yeah. that he took. Maybe you know, something a little bit more exotic than a mm -hmm. deer, you know? And it's cool to hear shit like yeah. that. Guys that, that are kind of get a little jump start mm -hmm. from yeah. something that you might have been a part of. Yeah, yeah. And didn't even know it. Yeah. Didn't yeah, didn't know even it. know it. Ten didn't years and he comes it. in. Yeah. He's like, dude, this is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. I'm like, fucking, it's right. Yeah. It's badass. Yeah. What, uh, what are... Uh, so, like, who are some of the guys in the industry that you follow and support? Like, the, some of the stuff that you like to see. Like, um, who 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 are the type of people that, I don't want to say you try to be like, uh -huh. but some of the shit that interests you? Um, You know. For I, any, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. I, uh, man, it's so, like, when I get on social media or YouTube or anything like that, I'm not even watching hog hunting stuff. Do it, you're doing your own thing. Yep. Yeah, I'm not even watching the hog hunting stuff because everybody's doing it, but... I really love watching shooters, and I'm talking about shooters, not three gunners and running around. No, no, no. I'm talking about the art of precision rifle shooting. And uh, Philip Vallejo is one of my yep. big. I'm I'm probably one of his biggest fans. Like I'm right I, there with you, dude. It's just watching that fucker run a bolt, dude. It's fucking zip shit. He's he's next. He's top tier. He's top tier. And um, we chat and. I've invited him down. He's down. He just got to make the time. And I said, "Hey, let's go slay some coyotes and pigs with bolt guns only." You know, and uh, he's down. We just got to make the time. But those are the type of people that I like to watch because you can learn so much yep, from yeah. them. You know, watching other hunters. Sometimes you're doing it better than them. Sometimes they're doing it better. But it, it's all the same thing. It's, it's all the same thing. But if you actually watch the art of shooting and learning it. Everybody's oh yeah I can shoot three hundred yards you know but yeah. but do you know how to actually dial up your scope do you know do you actually know how to operate your gun efficiently a lot of people don't know that right you know what I'm saying go watch Phillips videos and watch him run a fucking bolt watch him run dope watch his holds watch his holds with wins that's impressive that's shooting. Yeah, that's shooting. Do you ever remember those Magpul DVDs that came out? Like oh ten, yeah, the, like the Art of the Dynamic. Oh all yeah, of that shit? I love the shotgun ones. Did, did you? Did you? You know who Todd Hodnett is? Yeah, then? yeah. Have, have yeah. You, that, that's freaking pretty cool shit. It, it, that was kind of the start of a lot of the the long range mm -hmm. game that kind of became yeah. commercial, like yeah. like out there for everybody. To go, dude. Well, fuck anybody can. do It was that. a shame that fell apart. It was a shame. What, I wish it, like, do, what do you know what happened with any of that? I just think it was money. Yeah, it was. It was multiple good people. Yeah, not just one guy. Well, it was multiple people in those videos. The, and I just think it came down to money. There's a there's a fella that was pretty high up in there, and I I think I I did follow him on Instagram. I can't remember his Chris. Name. What's his last? No, Co no, 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 not him. Uh, he's a he's a long gunner. Okay. I think he was a a legit sniper. Uh, his last name started with like a W Wards check or something like that, but he was with Magpul and I got a hold of him through Sniper's Hide. Fuck. Oh hi. What, when shit was going on and he was planning on coming out here and doing one of those Magpul courses Bad up ass. north where you'd set you know unknown or just that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. learn from guys like that. Yeah, hell yeah. Because yeah. even though 
a guy we might have the capability to do all sorts of crazy shit there's always somebody that can teach you something damn right no matter damn what right. that's what that's why i watch philip because it's yeah. like you can learn shit you, you can, can learn just, so much from those guys just like know? watching sports mm -hmm. fuck dude you can learn a lot just yeah. from watching just from watching man what yeah. about fellas like do you know who do you know who t-rex arms are yeah those guys? yeah what do you think about dudes like that? i've met them I, I've met uh, um, Lucas. 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 I've met Lucas. Oh, really? I met Lucas and Mike at the same time. Mike, the, is that his brother or something? That's Grand Thumb. Oh, they shit. get along. They don't collab. They, oh. they might collab on stuff. They, oh, you met they, both of those I fellas. I met both of them at the NRA in Dallas, where I met a lot of people. And when I met them in person, is when I knew these guys are legit. Yeah, you could just tell. Man, I'm going to tell you when I went to that, there's people out there with a million subs, a million subscribers, 500, whatever. Some of them are good people, and some of them are fucking frauds. I'm not going to say who they are, but... You could tell. You knew right off the bat, and Mike and, and Lucas are not those guys. And Lucas is hated on bad for yeah. some reason, but uh, he's this guy with skinny jeans that operates like a motherfucker. Fuck, and, dude. Yeah. If, I'll tell you what. If shit was going to hit the fan, I'd want that motherfucker yeah. pulling the trigger behind me yeah. before... But they hate him. Dude, a uh, lot of it haters. Is, is he... he He's playing dress up. He didn't mm -hmm. serve, and he's yeah, doing yeah. the shit. That that's the, the thing. Who yeah, did. that's the thing. Better, but he's a Better. he's a civilian doing you know operator type shit sometimes. But he is legit. You got to yeah. give him credit where credit is due. You know, but I, I like watching his stuff. All of him, you know, yep. and uh, I like watching his stuff. But I don't want to be like him. Yep. I don't want to be. I'm not. I'm I sure not big as hell want to shoot like him. <laughs> yeah. All that. Nope. I I agree. I'm the same way. I I think that I I like I like I enjoy both of those guys. The stuff that they do. I mm -hmm. I like seeing how like Grand Thumb how he went from some of his early videos he was fucking pretty serious about shit. Yeah. Now he's got a little bit of comical oh, it's, aspect it's, in it's, shit. I'm like fuck. That's pretty. There's some it, funny it's, shit, dude. It's you will. He's the best at it. And I, I told Tyler and, and Rich this. I was like, he's the fucking Christian yeah. Bale of yeah. fucking social media. And that's why he's that's why <laughs> he, he has the subscribers that he yeah, does. Yeah, he's badass. He's There's, good at it. Yep. He's good at it. Exactly. I wish him the best of luck. Yeah. He's hundred percent. I you get you get guys like that once in a while that it's really hard to not like their mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then there's other guys that you just look at him. It's like, oh my god, can you stop the this fuck shit are you show? Doing? <laughs> it is. It's a train wreck, yeah. and they got so yeah. many followers and so many people that love them. I'm like, are you not seeing what I'm seeing? Like fraud. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no names. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be that hater. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the? What's your RS? Your impressions of the 75 banger, the RS 75. Um, so because there's you know the shit that's going on on yeah. online that Facebook's really bad. I'm not on there, but I've been hearing about. So it. you're not on Facebook. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I hate it. Just because you're like fuck. I've that tried shit. it and like for for a business or just from your personal. I tried it for personal and you know like another TK page. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. And it was, it, it, that's where all the bullshit started was on Facebook and that Facebook, I call it the Facebook mentality. And it's, I just don't like it, man. I, I don't like well, the atmosphere over there. If you, I was telling those guys, we, I did, I just posted a video that we had for thermal. that was a uh, rancher uses thermal imaging to protect his cattle. Mm -hmm, 70 mm -hmm. It has like 4 million views. I remember that video. If, if you look at all of the comments on that, I bet, I bet literally 75% of those comments are negative towards yeah. it. They're fucking yeah. the hate, most, hate shared everywhere hatred. There's some ignorant people on Facebook, man. Different deal. I don't Everybody like wants it. you to build a fence. Yeah, I don't yeah, keep the yeah, coyotes out, right? Yeah, yeah. I, there's something about it, man. I don't know what it is, but that's where all the online bashing, shit talking, bullying, all that shit, it started on Facebook. And what I like about IG is I can control that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can control it on IG, but on Facebook, sometimes that shit gets shared and it's all, you know, it's gone already. It's gone already, you know, and uh, there's some toxic people on Facebook, man. There's there's marriages that's been broken up. There's been businesses ruined. I mean, they're canceling motherfuckers left and right. Like, yeah. I don't know what the deal, it is, deal is with Facebook. And I get it with the business, but for a personal account, you will never catch me on Facebook. It's too many I hate people it. with fucking feelings. I hate it. it. I don't want anything to do with it. I hate it. It's sad. That's, but that's where our, that's where our society is at right now. It's Facebook. Yeah, it's a whole nother thing to, to get tied up in. Yeah, too. and I'm so glad I'm not a part of it. All I got well, is YouTube and IG. That's it. 
We, I did, I have the O'Neill Ops Facebook page and I'll just take some videos and that, that somebody might not even ever see mm -hmm. and post it that have done really good, but it still generates a large amount of hatred from people. It's just crazy how you have X amount of followers and that shit goes to eyes that hate it, but mm -hmm. they still watch it. They still watch it. Like what the it's hell? On, what the hell? I don't know what the, like, I see shit on IG, because it's really the only place I'm on. I see shit on IG that I don't like. Like, yeah, I don't like big game hunting, like hunting a giraffe or a rhino. Yep. Or, I mean, I'm not going to say rhino, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, yeah, you do. Yeah. Like, I don't like it, but am I going to leave a company? Say, you sorry, motherfucker. You, exactly. you ain't going to watch yeah. it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just, all right, man, yep. do yeah. your thing, and I'm moving Whatever on. Whatever floats your boat, yeah. Yeah, I'm moving on, but yeah. I'm not going to sit there and bash you. But now, because of Facebook, yep. I got to share my thoughts. Yeah, I want to express my feelings. Here's, here's my feelings. Can yeah. you imagine yeah. that? Pop, something pop that feelings, you absolutely man. hate. Think of something you absolutely hate. Go out of your way to find a video. Sit yeah. down and watch it. Yeah. That's yeah. what they do, too. And it doesn't have to be hunting. Go look at a video about a truck. Oh, yeah. my God. Somebody somebody built a custom yeah. truck for SEMA, and the fucking comments are full of, look at those shitty-ass fucking wheels. You're going to be able to go off-road with that. You know, like, shut yeah. up, man. Yeah. It's a fucking show truck. It looks badass. Leave it alone. You know, like, yeah. it's so stupid, man. Go to a girl doing makeup. Same thing. Girl, them eyelashes too long. What the <laughs> hell is it going <laughs> to? Where the hell what is the hell, hell is you, it going to? What are you to? watching, dude? I watch it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I watch some random shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I always go to well, the comment fuck, section. Yeah, well, John will be in the back. Fucking yeah, fuck. real, then all some crazy ass shit pops up. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck yeah. Porn hub. Like, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? Dude, Porn hub. dude, that's a story. Yeah, tell him about that shit, dude. We're Listen to this shit. Listen to this one, dude. Listen <laughs> this to this. Good. You guys want to hear this sitting over there, too. Fuck. So we're out harvesting corn, right? And I'm <laughs> grain cart driver, freaking hammer and hammer. And Keith was doing whatever that day, so he wasn't here. We had two grain carts <laughs> running. Yeah, I was here. Yeah. Or whatever the deal yeah, was. Whatever. Anyways, Keith is pulling I, his hat down. I, I had a Bluetooth speaker set up in my it's tractor. It's perfect for this fuck. And and uh, I jump out, jump in the other tractor, and James finishes his strip. So he jumps in the tractor I was just in, and I go, "This fucker's in there, and my Bluetooth's in there, and I'm gonna hook this shit up, and I'm gonna play some nasty shit, and he's gonna freak out." So I get on YouTube and I search porn noises or loud porn noises or something like that, and I hook up. And I start playing it, and I look over, and the trucker is sitting in the tractor with James. Oh, and all you can hear is fucking, God. oh, fuck, just bad, bad, pounding out. And I'm like, what the fuck? And, and I can't <laughs> hear it. Fuck, dude. It, it's Bluetooth yeah. to my speaker, so I can't even hear it. And I'm like, geez, I hope this is working. And then I look over, and they're both just fucking lit up. <laughs> the, the, dude, the dude that's a trucker, he's like, he's, he's not full-blown Mexican, but he's got a little bit of an accent. Yeah, yeah. And he goes... Well, at least it's not gay porn. <laughs> and I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> and he thought I was, I he, he thought you he thought oh, had to have. Oh, he had to, he had to have thought that I was on my phone, dude, while I was in there. And That's I'm like, fucking horrible. Like he caught you. He thought you caught you. Yeah, fucking, had to have. That's fucking horrible. Oh, it just worked out. And I'm like, shit, dude. You I embarrass oh. your ass. That was good. It was pretty damn funny, though. <laughs> yeah, because you Snapchatted me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah Snapchat is going to check fucking this. do this. Snapchat yeah. is still around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, oh, a, we have, we the, have a group, us three, that that's... Fucking. If somebody needs something, like if he's coming out from town, he'd be like, you guys need anything? Or yeah. if we're moving cows, it'll just be easier Holy to do shit. Holy shit, I didn't know Snapchat was still around. We don't, I don't... Maybe that's it's just for, a Midwest That's thing. actually the only one I use is our group fucking team ops. No shit. Yeah. Or like, dude, all, all, I won't hardly, like if guys have it and they buy like a helmet set up, and they're like, oh, dude, how do you do this shit? I'll just Snapchat and show them real quick and then boom, yeah. send it. I'll be damn. But okay. Otherwise, right. it's not nothing. Okay. Not it it got shut down with TikTok, man. Yeah. It I got, could imagine it got that. shut down by TikTok. I TikTok see that. came and it, it really wrecked shop. Yeah. So, what do you, what's your thoughts, real quick, on the 75? Okay. So, um, so I was fortunate enough to be the first person to unbox it. Tyler, oh, Tyler, shit. Heard about I got to brag yeah. about that. So about <laughs> Tyler was on vacation and it showed up at the warehouse and he was like, you got to go up there and open this thing. So I was like, all right. And he was like, don't fucking shoot it. Like, <laughs> don't do that. you son of a bitch. Yeah, it's don't, my like, yeah, don't shoot it. So I was like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so I'm hauling ass over to the warehouse or whatever. And I get to it and I, and I immediately when I seen the key, the case, 
I was like, okay, this is awesome. Yeah. You know, like it's got a legit case. So opened it up and I saw that 75 mil and I was like, oh, you know, so turned it on. Actually, I, I didn't even turn it on. I was just, The battery wasn't charged. I started messing with it and just thought it was really cool. Took it to the ranch. It was, I charged it on the way up to the house. Took it to the ranch and turned it on. I put it on some horses and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this shit's real. Yeah. Like, and it's so hard to get people to understand this, but what you guys are seeing on footage. Yeah, even what exactly. we doesn't, yeah. it still it, doesn't it, do it. It, it won't. Just, yeah, you it post it your shit. Doesn't. It's like, God damn, it's still mm -hmm. not. Yeah, and it goes back to the, inviting somebody out. I want to, I want to, record there yeah. we yeah. i wanted to do that one on this trip not get you know i want anyone I want you guys to get an rs 75 and get hand it to y'all and record your expect you right. guys needed right. some time but um anyways just to get some fresh virgin eyes behind it and look through it and i've had some friends that i've already done this to and they're like what the fuck yeah, yeah. that's what i told yeah. that chris said what's your first expression i'm like what the fuck dude yeah it's and and the haters can say whatever they want they can go ahead and say whatever they want until you actually look through it and use it. You will understand. Yeah. And um, that's where I'm at right now with it. Like, yes, it's expensive. There's a reason why. And, uh, you know, it's just like the thermal game when it first started. It was expensive. I remember when you first got in the game back then, an entry-level scope was eight ten grand. Look where it's at now. You yep, can get a yeah. you can get a entry level scope for twenty five hundred bucks, yeah, and probably cheaper than that. And but per, yeah, but it needs to start somewhere, and this is where it's at. This is the future, and this is just the beginning. And, yeah, and, and and I think that's just a cool thing to be a part of. And, and I'm telling you guys right now, I just think this is going to be the beginning to a whole new era of thermals, man. And you're right in it. Yeah, we're you're right there. You're right there. You're yeah. right there. So what are we, the, we were playing with this long time ago with the core, remember? Yep. And, yeah, yeah. And, and Tyler built it up over this. It's in a huge body now. We call it the Hercules. And, uh, dude, I remember we went on a hunt. It was me, Rich, Tyler, and T-Mac, I believe. And Rich, I want to say, was the one that caught it. But we caught bullet in flight. With the 1280. Core. With the 1280. You could see the bullet in flight. Make an impact on this fucking hog. You can run your mouth all you want with any other thermal in the industry because I'm not hating on any other thermal company. There's nobody else that can do that. And I was like, how in the hell are we going to be able to get this thing in a, in a weapon mounted thermal? That's what I said. And I knew, I in my head, I was thinking five, six years. Yeah. You know, because the core alone was massive. Fuck, it happened. Not even two years. That's insane. And I was like, oh, shit. People ain't ready for this, man. Yeah. I don't, one, yeah. They're, one, they're not financially ready for it. Yeah, there and you two, go. And there two, and go. two, it's just it's it's something that you just have to experience in person. But there's going to be people out there with the money ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that right now. What are you What are you gonna tell them? What What would you say to those guys that are like? Because I've had a, a handful of guys go, dude. I I want to buy one, but I don't because I you know I want to make sure that there's no bugs. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. There's always so, bugs with electronic, but yeah. there's firmware updates. What what would you say to somebody that's like, dude, you know what? What's your thoughts on on it? Is it yeah. is it a good scope to buy? So, before things are released, we we got the the opportunity to be able to use this stuff and, and beat the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? And we do that with just about everything. And then we also are able to address problems, and the problems are being addressed and taken care of almost immediately. And you guys have seen my scope. It's not pretty. Yeah. I mean, yep. yeah. Yeah, she's You've fucked used up. Her. Yeah, she's fucked up. <laughs> but it's never broke. And it's solid and it's working. And you've seen the footage I'm tracking. Like, it's the original. It is RS75002. It's the second one. Chris has the first one. And so, and that right there, number two, and number, number one and number two have never been replaced. We're still hunting with it. I think that speaks for itself. Yeah. So what's uh, what's some of the things that you like about it, and what are some of the things that you don't? I like, honestly, honestly, I'm like, what would you like to see grow on grow? What would you like to see changed or advanced to if they're going to come out with something new or upgraded? Mm -hmm. What do you like? What do you think it's going to? What what kind of people is it? Are is it going to fit? You know, like mm -hmm. what what kind of application? Okay, um, so. One I like is the clarity. All yep. right. I, I absolutely love the clarity. I love the field of view. 
Yeah, you said something about that. Yeah, I Jeez. love that. I love that field of view. Um, another thing that I really like is the aperture. You know, like so. There's people I've seen, I've getting screenshots of these comments on Facebook because I'm not on there, but some people just really having a hard time understanding when something's in focus, the shit in the background's out of focus. I love that. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a cinematic look. Yes. Yeah. And these fuckers don't get it. They and some of these people want that infinity focus where they don't even have to focus on it. But you, I don't. I love that skill set. That challenge. We're gonna do it tonight. Oh yeah, where, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you can run it's that. No focus. different than a good pair of binos. Exactly. Yeah. You got to operate like a pair of binos. But when these animals are coming in, and you're constantly on that scope and you're yeah. working that focus yep. and getting dialed in. I love that yeah. shit. Hell yeah, man, because you're you're working it right. And some people, they just don't have it. And so yeah. they're going to bitch yep. because they don't have that. They don't have that patience. They don't have that. Exactly. Skill set, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. But I love that. And that's what I love about that scope thing. I don't like, and I'm just keeping it 100. I don't like base two by, I don't like base. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't use magnification. Yep. So you I, wish it yep. was one X. I wish it was no, three, nine, three, three to three, four, yeah. three to three oh, and a half. I gotcha. I wish it was three to three and a half. Um, Cause you're 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 just naturally killing shit out there, a hundred yards. Yeah, sometimes I mean, further than that. Yeah, but no magnification. Yep, no magnification. Yep. But if we go to three and a half power, it's going to cause the lens to be a lot bigger and other stuff. I get it. You know, it's I get it. But I'm doing really well with the transition. I went from a three and a half to a two by now, and I'm getting accustomed to it. You know, um, it's it's a badass unit, dude. It's a badass unit. I I. I wish the mount was a little bit lower, you know. Um, so you couldn't run your your uh, two screens to get by that. You don't like that the picture in picture. Yeah. Um, I, 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 the picture in picture comes in handy with long shots, but when I'm up close, a hundred yards and in, it's a distraction. Yep. Yeah, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. So I, I always keep the picture in picture off. Yeah, I, was gonna say, and, I don't even turn mine on. But then a hundred yards and in. 2x is good enough. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, it's good out to 200. But and, and and another thing I wish it did was let's let's show everybody what's going on on the screen. If the picture in picture is on, you need to be able to see picture in picture. If the I some people just want to see your battery life. They want to see what's going on with minutes and all the other stuff. And when you going through the menu option, I wish it would show that. I and that's you. and that can be that could happen. That yeah. could happen. Some it's kind been of brought up. I like your the the perception that you take on the on the aperture on the focus where mm -hmm. you you just by it's showing what that unit's capable mm -hmm. of when you can fine tune that focus at a certain plane mm -hmm. at a certain distance and have your target in focus mm -hmm. and everything before it and everything after it not that's showing you the capabilities of how clear that mm -hmm. thing is. Oh, it's stupid clear. Where and and I never looked at it how you did. Like there's a whole nother level of not only intensity but skill set that you have to acquire mm -hmm. to maintain that focus. That focus, yeah. And people think that's dumb. Oh, that's work, man. Like hey, it's it your focus on it should that, be autofocus. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. It, there's exactly there's only autofocus? Okay. Twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> you exactly. know what I'm saying? Because that's yeah. just going to cost money. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But I don't want auto. Do you run auto no, focus no, on your big no. cams? Well, fuck. on 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 that one I do. But like on on You're my. You're supposed to say no. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> on my on my seventy five, I don't. You like my? Or I'm sorry, my my R five, I don't. Okay. But no, it's I. I'm a hundred percent on page with you. What you're saying? Yeah, it's yeah. that's if you want to do it right. Like that, that's yeah. auto focus and something like that is going to be like yeah, you said. It's going to be a bitch. It's going to be trying shit. to track, you know, especially when these animals are on the run. Now, now that's where the manual focus kind of sucks. When these pigs yep. are running, yep. some, of these, some of that footage is going to be out of focus. But for like saying? us, dude, when yeah. we're going into kill boxes and we have a set known distance and we mm -hmm. can fine tune that mm -hmm. shit, I'm jacked to see yeah. what we're going to get. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've kind of seen it already, but not, not, in, not in 1280. Yeah. Not in tw Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be. It'll be pretty cool, I think, but like uh, different, different. If you took that unit and made it an infinite focus, mm. I think you're just going to lose yeah. a lot of what it's capable it's of. Not, like it's the Mark Three, dude, we were getting so close to coyotes on the Mark Three, the Chizikon, that that the shit was fuzzy. It was fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. It, was no not, it was out of focus, man. I'm. It's probably one of my favorite things about it. Another favorite thing I like, too, is 
black hot. It's yeah, way good. Oh my so gosh, good. that's yeah. just and freaking flat out. That's we ran be... white hot everything last year. At last year, yeah. yeah. And and, and we noticed you, that right away. If you watch any of my content, about ninety percent of it's all black hot. Yep. I've, and then three eighty fours are known to be really strong from the, from the from IRA. It, the three eighty fours are known to be good for with black hot. The six forties wasn't really strong with black hot, and then when this twelve eighty dropped. Me yep. and Chris looked yep. at each other That's and was like, like yeah, Black, 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 Black Hot is, is back. Black Hot is yeah, back. Yeah, like, yeah. holy shit. Like, Big time. I, I just, I'm able to acquire and shop placements a lot better for me with Black Hot. Yeah. It's just what yeah. it is. People yeah. can argue. What color are you running your reticle? Um, so it's Black Hot with the animals, with the, whatever I'm on. And my reticle, the main part in the middle is white. Okay. So it just sticks the fuck out. Yeah. White Hot with the Black reticle is hard to track. Sure. It's hard yeah. to track. It's yeah. hard to track. So, um, you know, different strokes for different folks. Yep. You know. Who? So, what do you? What do you say to guys that are that that just say you're just strictly IRA? So, man, it's so fucking obvious where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? In my life, you know, with with IRA and everything, it's obvious. But I'm not against other scopes. Like I have an AGM, I just never used it. I have nothing against Envision. I've used Envision before. I have nothing against Pulsar. And it, the beef isn't Pulsar; it's with the distributor. But Pulsar makes great stuff. But you know, it, my grind, my 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 work, all this is behind IRA, and that's what I'm going to be pushing. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a reason for it. Though. Yeah, there's a reason for it. It's like y'all pushing some other body's some other clothing company. You know what they're like. You got your own shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So why not push it, you yeah. know? Yep. There's the the easiest way that I tell guys is without bad mouth in any other companies it is from what we've seen with previous makes or manufacturers that we just have so much better performance in a variety of conditions mm -hmm. with with the IRA core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, we were it, just talking about it last night mm -hmm. as far as the humidity. Humidity, yeah. Like the, I remember distinctly the first time that we got the Mark 1 RH50s mm -hmm. and we sighted them in in November while it was raining. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, not to and that's do, when not, I was running a Pulsar Trail XP50. I'd just shut it off. You, you guys could do your shit and I'd just shut it off. I wouldn't mm -hmm. even bother because it was useless. The in, in the Mark 3... The IR Hunter, the mm -hmm. Trijicon, it just, it, big difference. Yeah. Well, we, we big would, difference. We would in, check the humidity, and if it was below, above 70, we wouldn't even go out. Yeah, hu humidity is like, a thermal's was, nightmare. Yeah. And even and, to this day, even with the IRA stuff, the IRA think, I think IRA is extremely strong with humidity, but if it rains, it's going to be a very, very, and, I, and it's usually money when I go out after it rains, I'm going to see some pigs. But if I want good, clean footage, I probably need to wait. Yeah, because I just want that. Yeah, I want you want and, it. Yep. I want it Constantly perfect. But nuking it too. Yeah, the, yeah. the most recent reel that I did on my IG with those two pigs, that was eighty six percent humidity, which destroys anything else in the market. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's some of those kills that we got with the Mark One dude, and it was hundred percent. It yeah. was snowing, snowing out. Snowing. snowing. And I'm like, wow. And you can still split hairs. Yeah. On you, yeah, I mean, we're yeah, close. Yeah. It, but you, it's, it's still very easily yeah, usable yeah, footage. Where yeah. otherwise, it, and it's anything, not anything hot is is crystal clear. Yeah. But your the frag is, and fragmentation yeah. just captured. Just. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not trying to just say, hey, you know, we're pushing a product because. It's what we use, but there's always, for me, there's a reason behind it. Mm -hmm. And that, mm -hmm. in, in visual clarity with videography is a huge factor mm -hmm. in it. It's huge. Yeah. Not having to, like Keith said, not having to go, oh, shit, 80% humidity. Yeah. We're running all Trijicon shit. Guess what? We're not going out tonight mm -hmm. because it ain't worth it. Yeah. We're going to get footage and everybody's going to bitch and go, well, fuck. Look why do we want to buy a $10,000 scope that mm -hmm. gets footage like this? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just you. It's it goes back to get, it's just somebody's always gonna bitch about something. Yeah. And there's and there's other guys that won't because they don't worry about the footage. But you have yeah. no. Yeah. You have yeah. no. You don't. I mean, you have nothing bad to say about other companies. No, you use no, a lot of other. No. You ha, you have used a lot yeah, of other I shit. Have. There's yeah. reasons. Yeah. 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 And you know, it's kind of sad that it. 
people constantly want a versus. Hey yeah. man, yeah. what's up with that? Compare TH. it. Yeah, what's what? Let's see a video with TH50C versus the Thermion Bob or the Invision. I'm not going to do that because immediately you motherfuckers want to draw a line between both companies and start shit. Yep. And I'm not that guy. The footage is out there. The information is out there. The prices are out there. All that's out there. You just want me to say this yeah. is better. Yeah. So you got something to fucking run with. Yep. I would never. Since day one, since I've been on the social media, nobody has ever seen me do a versus. Yeah. So what's going to happen when you get your TRX and we get the R's? There's a versus. We're going to still have to have oh, a versus. Is there gonna be a versus? Now we're talking about <laughs> on trucks. That, <laughs> on that 40-meter dash, there still has to be a versus, right? Man, I don't know. Me and James, I think we had a conclusion. discussion on that. Yeah, we're like, dude, I, I need a knee it's... replacement. He needs a fucking knee replacement. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. I don't know about that. It's just too, it's too risky. But trucks? Uh, <laughs> let me let me I'm gonna figure that out. There could be a TRX in the future. There could be a TRX in the future. We'll just have to find a different route here next time to give you more gravel roads. <laughs> <laughs> more highway. More highway. <laughs> yeah, yeah no shit. That would be badass. Yeah, dude. I think that's freaking this is a like I always say, this is fr- cool cool interview man we've been we're at almost two hours and we knew we we know we could get there easy it seems like it goes fast i I, it's only seven o'clock it's crazy it's crazy weird up here tyler and rich are ready to go hunting what do you think dude what do you think (laughs) about it it's just night night it's just now nighttime back at home Really? It, what, it just it gets dark around 7 30 7 7 30 what's your initial impressions of uh you we haven't done anything i mean it's been just a shitty day it's been yeah, wind blowing yeah. 50 miles that's, an hour that's i'm not bitching whatsoever but like the train just coming up here and seeing visually mm. your what, what's what's your so what do you think compared to like anything that, that you've i've never hunted with my rifles i've never hunted outside of texas and oklahoma so it's to be able to say that I came up to South Dakota to shoot some badass looking coyotes, and I mean badass looking dogs. I'm looking at the pelts all over the place. Um, just to drive up here and just to see the transition of terrain in the country, this is, you know, you, you look at these old movies, man, like Western movies. You look at, like, the Western Front. You know, you look at that, sh- like, people had to travel across this, and I see this, and I'm like, nothing has fucking changed. Yeah. There, yeah, there might be a house here, and it might be another one seven miles down the road, but the terrain is exactly what it was hundreds of years ago, you know? And it's pretty fucking cool to see this, man. Like, it's untouched. It's not molested. Texas is molested like no other. Oklahoma is starting to get molested. You know, like, a lot of the countryside in the south is getting ruined by development. and dirt. I you can't see a building for fuck as far as the eye can see from here. This is jaw dropping. Something that you haven't really ever seen. Never, never. You when you tomorrow if it's sixty and you guys buzz up or we go up on bikes. Yeah, the three hundreds. We you, will, dude. You gotta You're show them like a buffalo wallow up there. There's big oh, yep, divots there. Yep. They're not like a crater, no, but there's but, some of them that are probably twice the size of this room, and it's a just a big. That were concave 400 years ago where yeah you'd you'd have a thousand or five however many head come into a water hole after it rained and they just freaking do their thing drink wallow and all of that dirt and mud would get stuck to them and then they'd walk off and they took the mud with them and now it's like a freaking wow big old, there, we have a bunch of them up in our pasture up there that's just we go hunting up there and you just walk by and you're like dude what would that should have been like a thousand years that's ago that's insane man. just cool shit yeah to think about. yeah it's it's I've been daydreaming the whole time. You know, I went to town this morning, whatever. It's just like people was on horseback. Yeah. People went across this on damn wagons. And we was on Killbox. Me and Tyler was talking. And it was like, these were some hard motherfuckers. Out here. You had to be hard. There, you, if you bitched out, you were weak, you were sick, you're going to die. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's simple. You're going to die out here. And it's still kind of fucking like that. Dude, I mean, 40, 45 <laughs> yeah. mile an hour gust winds and it's 42 degrees, like, and, t- and it's going to be single digits by the end of the week. And it's you an don't want to be caught out there. Yeah, it's 40, an miles hour drive. To, 40 miles to a hot doctor. Hey, guys, uh, guys. More, th- more than that, if you want to go to a good doctor. Folks, folks that are listening to this podcast, <laughs> listen to this. So I'm used to having. Chick Fil A, Burger King, <laughs> Domino's, <laughs> yeah, Papa John's, Payway, uh, Payway. Panda I've Express, never heard of that one. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> I got I got yeah. five Walmarts within a twenty mile radius of my house. For them, just to go to Walmart here is almost two hours. Yep. 
to go get a damn toothbrush, which I forgot. I went to go get a toothbrush <laughs> this morning, and it took me an hour there and back. Well, like, not there and Tyler's. back, but Tyler. No, man. <laughs> but, you know, like, it's, you know, I, I see what you were saying. Like, hey, man, we don't eat junk food up here. We don't have this. We don't have that. And I'm just, like, thinking, okay, well, this is discipline. You really don't have junk food out here. <laughs> yeah, That's what it is, you know. So you, you can easily live this lifestyle because – you don't have that shit in front of your face all the time. It's literally shit. So what you're saying is if you came out here and lived with us one year, you'd be fucking doing this shit like Keith and John. I'll run this motherfucker. I'll run this on my ass. What the fuck? If I was out here for a year, I'd run this motherfucker by myself. (laughs) (laughs) On the bike. (laughs) On the 300. On the 300. Cool, man. No, we appreciate having you. You guys are welcome up here all the time. I'm I'm excited to 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 do the podcast like this and have you guys up and see kind of what we're all about in it should have happened a year or two ago yeah, but yeah yeah what we're, we need to we need to go of, down right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, they had to bring that one up i Fuckers. forgot you gotta do <laughs> I, did see some, I did see some ducks the other day so i mean we could bust hey out man the shotguns. there was a freaking snowstorm between Kansas in oh, here, shit. and there was no way I was driving up through that shit. So I, I think the, the people that follow us know what's going on. Last yeah. year, they, Tyler and Rich came, and Chris came up, and it was a freaking cold, yeah. snowy deal. Yeah, it was bad. Amatine stayed up and yeah, and we hammered. stayed down and did some duck hunting. Yeah, it was fun. But you guys, that's another thing too. A lot of people understand and know we go back and forth, mm-hmm. fucking Hack giving each other so, shit. Yeah. It's Hack. all Seriously, good though, fun and games. Good you, shit. You cleaned. How did you eat those ducks? Did you just? Just, do you do you like you them? Breast them? Yeah, they're good. It, it wasn't the ducks; it was geese. Okay, um, yeah, and um, lessers. And so, um, you you breast them out, and it was really good. My wife really enjoyed it. But once my kids found out that they were geese, they were like, "Nope, no, no I'm done." You yeah, know, yeah. but it, it's it's a red meat. You know, it was really good. I, yeah. I I liked it, and I still got some left over. But um, it's not for everybody. You know, yeah. ducks ducks I think is a little bit worse. You don't like you duck. don't really you, mm, see nah. up here. We don't. I don't smoke like, duck is good. I, I thought duck smoke, was pretty good. smoke duck. is. Have good. you ever had a pheasant or grouse? Very good. When yeah. I was in Kansas, I grouse, had some pheasant, sure. pheasant, grouse quail, dark. quail, quail. Quails. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I noticed some guys up here was all in orange. They were out in the fields. Is it quail or pheasant? They're going out. Grouse. There? Where were they? And grouse? pheasant. And pheasant. Really? Where, and pheasant. Where, where were they? Um, <laughs> it was. Um, and you didn't call us? No, we, we, we had just crossed over into South Dakota, I think. Yeah. Oh, th- they're down but by Cody around Cody Lake goose hunting. Oh, in orange? You don't fucking wear orange no, goose hunting. No, fucking fine. No, oh, yeah. no they were on the ground. Like, they were on the ground with hey, dogs. There's always a bunch of pheasants oh, right there at uh, Birch Fields. They're, they're, they're on the ground with but dogs. But they were yeah, setting Birch up. Fields has pheasants. They right were there. setting up goose blinds last time I went down there to pick up vaccine Friday. So, so uh, what you don't you don't eat any of the pigs you shoot? Um, maybe one or two a year. We used to be really big into it, but. Man, you with with the ranch, with all the beef and the, my, yeah. I burned my kids out on on yeah. gaming. I, I burned them out. You can you can anybody that tells you that shit is actually good to eat is fucking what? kind what? of what what pig? All, all game. Oh, oh all game. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, yeah. All game. I'm like, dude. All right, we ate a uh, an antelope or a deer, but I'm gonna tell you what, unless. I'm I'm I'll eat, I could eat grouse every every for I could eat grouse every single freaking meal <laughs> easy grouse That's fun. Yeah. but I'll shoot a fucking bull elk Animal or something I'm like, like yeah. what dude no, they when you get one in like rut and, well and, see I think it depends on what these animals are eating too oh yeah so. but in our, in you a cornfield cow the same way and she's perfect she's good. But Man. you, dude, you Those gotta do shit to up. wild game to make it taste even freaking deer. But it, the, it the, like so like if I was to shoot an elk up in in the pines up somewhere up in Oregon, you know, yeah. like North, oh yeah, it's gonna have a weird taste oh, yeah. to it. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, it yeah. all depends. But like I've had elk steak, elk chili. God, I'll tear that shit up. Oh yeah, up. Oh, elk chili is good. good. It's done good. Like taken to a place, and I mean, we got elk in the freezer. That's fucking legit. Yeah. But there's some shit that but just is needs. If you're to, gonna do your own, man, you, get you a, sound picky. You need Chick Fil A. You get right. it, there. You go. It it's, all, like, it's gonna smell like piss, dude. Yeah. Dude, I haven't yeah. had Chick Fil A for probably ten years, and that sounds so fucking. Like good you right said, now. you could ask yeah, any man. of my kids what a Chick. They wouldn't even have a clue. Fuck. That's crazy. My, they would have no idea. But you know what, man? Your kids look healthy. They're at, like that's a good thing, man. Trust me. That's you know they don't need that toxic shit. So just we live a toxic lifestyle. It, just a different lifestyle, man. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Different. Yeah, it's different. Well, 
Well, awesome, <laughs> yeah, dude. I've never, never even fucking, I've never eaten that shit. We'll yeah. have to, we'll have to do another, uh, like, uh, we'll, want, we should do that do every so often. and after. Yeah. Another podcast. Oh really? Yeah, if you said. think I'm doing a podcast at four in the morning, you guys are well not right. We, what, we should, let's do another one Wednesday, possibly. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're saying. Yeah, we could okay, do, we'll do, do write down some talking follow points up. and shit. Yeah. Follow up and, yeah. and, and, and I'm, I feel bad because I didn't tell my folks that I should have told my folks that we were going to do this. So I'll probably go live on Wednesday. We'll do a short one on Wednesday. Yeah, after. we could. Yeah, we could do like a 45 minute bang. Yeah, just do yeah. some talking. Let points. us do that. Let's this do is this is more for introductory type of just about you. What, okay. how you came, what yeah. you, or how you came about, how you, what you started, what got you into it, what you're doing, what your goals are, what you like, what you don't just, just cool shit yeah, like man, that. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. That's I've, my, that's my goal to get guys out there that do different shit. You know, we've had, you, we've had like less. Dude, Lord I'm on. still, I'm that's still, cool shit. I'm so still fascinated with the whole less thing, man. And I hope one day I'll be able to meet him, dude. Cause yeah. you, I've watched a lot of predator Good pre- predator so, quest shit predator that he does. That, that he guy's a killer, shared. dude. He's yeah. he's legit, he's man. It's a shame what happened to him. It's yeah. a shame. But I don't. It's cutthroat, dude. I feel some pressure behind us, man. Yeah, like, Tyler's fucking. Can we just go kill, kill some, some shit? <laughs> he jerks are talking too much. Yeah, shit. We're good. We're <laughs> Tyler, good. Tyler was the We're only good. one that freaking manned up last night. I think. Yeah, dude. I, dude, that's so, a long road. That's dude, a long that's I a long ass trip. I thir- oh, you should have heard the shit he was talking about, you guys. Dude, I, I know I, I've done road <laughs> trips and thirteen hours straight with fuckers falling asleep on you. That ain't easy, man. <laughs> I, what, I just need to sleep. He did say he took a nap, so he's good. Yeah, I needed yeah. to sleep, so Hey, uh what's your what's all what's your handle for your Instagram and YouTube? Tell guys what you got a, going on. A dot Amantine, A M A N T I N E. Um, same way on YouTube, or you can just put in TX Killer and it should pop up somewhere in a Google search. But I'm out there. Heck yeah. We re- highly recommend following following him. him. I he, he's it. got some cool, awesome stuff. Right in line with kind of what we do. Likes the expensive high end stuff the and good shit. Kills the the main thing is we we align ourselves with we we try to align ourselves with fucking killers, killers. Mm. Fucking trigger killers. pullers, guys that freaking get in there and they do the shit. Yeah. And, and a lot of guys get butt hurt at podcasts because they're like, Oh fuck, you guys are going to resort to just sitting down like old men. And I'm like, dude, we get, you got to get guys fucking out there. Yeah, it's man. this is detailed info that need, I think needs to be out there. So yeah, yeah. it's cool. I'm glad you guys are doing this, man. This yeah. Is cool. No, we're glad that you did it, man. And we'll do a, uh, hopefully a follow up and we're heading out to the kill box tonight. Once again, we had yeah. Anthony yeah, Amatine. Yeah, should have some shit on IG with us later. Oh yep. yeah. yeah, yeah. Follow yeah. us. Up, follow the stories and what's going on, on Instagram. So once again, guys, you're here with the Predator Hunter podcast, and we are out. <laughs>